Microphone check. One, two. Skip everything. You already know the Gemini Scorpio podcast is underway. Episode 38. Eight. God 30. damn. The whole gang is in a building, Woo. too. It's family. It's not too many people, but it's just enough people. Right. Um, Hilla right. Bay is in the building. Miss Grinaway is in the building. That, what up? That rhyme, like I'm a rapper. Yeah. Alexander yeah. LeBlanc yeah. is in the building. Yes, Monte is here. Joseph D. Friend is here. Wyman J Productions is here. Gio De Leo is here. And we got two audience members in the building. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Mim- Mimosa City himself. Yeah, Von Chase. Von Chase is here. And the birthday guy, Cheatham. Okay. Yes, sir. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Nah, Cheatham's family. He's a yeah. part of the team. For nah, for real. sure, for sure. The gang so, is here. The uh, gang is y'all. Y'all know how we get it popping. Um, yeah. How was y'all week? Ooh, how was our week? How was my week? Honestly, y'all, I've been bombarded with work. I'm stressed about virtual learning with my kid. Um, yeah, so I just had like a, and it was a lot going on through the week. So it was just a heavy week. Like, you know, like one of those weeks is just like, all right, come on, let this one pass because I need to get through all these motions and these emotions because it was a lot. But other than that, I pushed through strong. Hey, excuse me. I'm sorry. I apologize. Hey, can somebody like move Jasmine Mike down? Cause it's like all in her face. We're not gonna do no, this. No, no, no. We're just gonna be in the beginning, you guys. Just turn you, it you, a little bit. Okay. Before we get started in the podcast, I just feel like every time it's time for me to say how my week was. I waited Jay, till you finish. Jay did the same thing last week. Stand. It was like, yo, you can get it. Get, it, get it. I feel like yeah, it's fine. It's let let he can come I'm in. I'm gonna need for you him. to look get ahead some, of time. Get some camera time real quick. Yeah, yeah. And just Shout out it. to Joe. Yeah, cause it's like all in her face. And then lift her mic up. Yeah. There you go. Is that is that in Sade way? Why me to move it over? Hey Joe, I like your jeans. You're welcome. We good? I like good jeans. I'm talking right here. All right, what about now? All right, back. We good? Cause yeah, it was that. in your face. I'm trying to make him say. Yeah, that's. You was you was fashionably late. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to make sure at least they Here see your go. face. Like, I knew shit. It was like, I mean, be a shot thrown. I'm just I saying, if you're going to be late, at least they got to see your face. I mean, shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Giving slouch? No, I'm, you know, I'm just hard to have. Why? Y'all are not going to keep. There we go. Which you way? Know Let's get it right. Yeah. Can you hear me though? We we can hear, we can you. hear you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> can y'all hear me though? Yeah, we can hear you. We, we can, can hear you. you. We can hear you. Okay. All right. Um. We just had to get that. Cool. Uh. We good. Uh. You said you said. I, but that I was all I had. That's all I had. That's right, all I had. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate. Yes. You. How was your week, Miss Grinaway? My week was good. Um. You know, it was all about just getting my daughter back on her schedule, her school schedule, even though it'll be virtual learning. Um, they're going to be in it like all day this time. And she's going into middle school. So, you know, I was getting school supplies. Um, you know, I was taking care of my home. Got a new air freshener. I love it. I just had to let y'all know that. Because every time I walk <laughs> in my house, I'm it? like, damn, it smells good. What is it? It's it's sea breeze linen. Mm. It smells so good. Yeah. I love I, it. I love a good air freshener. Yes. I'm about to go to that Bath and Body Works. The, it's like the little this things. Week. Yeah. yeah no, the seriously, little it makes things. you happy. It does. I just put a new one in over there. When I come in the house, I'm like, yeah, when you yeah. when it smells good, it yeah. just feels good. So That's real. my week was chill though. Um, basically just running behind my daughter, getting ready, um, and that's it really. Oh wait, I'm lying. Um, <laughs> nah, because I did want to say rest in peace to my homie Tay. Yeah. He passed away rest on Monday, me, Adam, which was crazy. Uh, rest in peace to Adam. Bro, he passed shit. away Wednesday. Mm-hmm. That was crazy. And rest in peace yep. to Chadwick Boseman. I know he passed away. Um, rest in. He was the Black Friday Panther night, yeah. guy, and you know he was yeah. a big figure to the black kids. So rest in peace to him too. Yes, no, our yeah, first nah, black to action figure. Nah, for sure, he inspired a lot of kids to be like one of the first black superheroes that a lot of people had. Like, I mean, and they don't understand. People don't understand how profound that was. But he wasn't just a superhero. He played Thurgood Marshall. Yes, Jackie Robinson. Rock Jackie Robinson this man played a lot of yeah. key figures. But honestly, yeah. I'm just inspired by the fact that he was in and out of chemotherapy. And surgeries while he was filming. If that don't motiv- motivate you. That don't you, motivate you. Don't that man was dying yeah. and still yeah. was living out his purpose. And I, you know, my grandmother passed away from stage four cancer when I was younger, and I watched the whole thing. And when I say like you're literally withering away to be able to still practice your craft with a hundred percent effort, man, that's admirable. If like that's nah, crazy, for sure, for like sure. that's motivation. I mean, got a soldier for real. Yeah. How was your week, Jay? Oh, that was so sweet. My week was um oh man my week was just it's regular now you know I had to uh, sit back on Thursday I believe and just say thank you you know what I'm saying because it's like I rather I rather be busy and being able to take care of my family than 
not being busy and That's having to fact. worry about how I'm gonna take care of Absolutely. you. Know what I'm saying? Right. It's yeah. different. Like when yeah. you're busy, it's like at least you know it's taken care of, right? Yeah. Like you might be tired and things like that. But I really had to right. sit back and be like, you know what? Thank you. Like I'd rather be this way than the other way around. Cause it was time right, right, like, right. I'm just strictly because I mean everybody you know I think I got a job now. So like like it's, it was times where like I'm just strictly trying to worry about how I'm gonna get it. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. It's cool. But it's not cool at the same time. You know what I'm right, saying? Because right, right. it's like, man, I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get it. If I don't get it, we fuck. You right. know no, that's a different right. type of stress. Right. Yeah, you right. know what I'm right. saying? Right. Right. But it's like, right. got this job. It's hard. Like my the job I got. It's like I'm always that guy that got that got to do the most. <laughs> like my job is just like God, the God's most. Like so, God's favorite soldiers got the like, toughest battle. Yeah, I don't got no regular you know job. Like this shit is the the worst shit ever. Like it's like the fuck. Like I gotta go in 12:30. I get off at eight. It's like what the fuck my entire day. But you know what? Yeah. Uh, so. It was definitely cool. Um, and then <laughs> Saturday, I'm thinking I'm gonna chill, go out, you know what I'm saying? My line brother car got fucked up. And <laughs> oh. I'm talking about I don't think I ever wait. I, I understand two hours, you know what I'm saying? That's a lot a long time. But we waited like four and a half hours for fucking roadside assistance. Oh, let me tell you, if it goes oh, yeah. through insurance. That's what somebody said. So let me tell you why. Somebody said that. So if it goes through if you got AAA, you good. If it goes through insurance. Nah, I got, nah, I got a story about that too. Okay, somebody so, said AAA good, but I like, AAA so, always So me this now. is what I know about insurance. I asked the tow driver, the tow truck driver, I said, Why is it taking y'all so long? He said, Because we get paid a percentage from the insurance company, when we pick up people just off like straight through the tow company, they get, we get, they get the full thing. So they like, mm. we do them first and then okay. we come around to y'all last. Wow. So we're not, uh, we not a priority, listen, basically. Exactly. You're not a priority. So somebody, it's, somebody, that's somebody, crazy. It's crazy because a, a tow, tow truck spent the bin like, yo, like y'all good? But it wasn't the insurance tow truck. So we like, nah, That's happened to me too. They right. pulled up right, like, right, right. you know, I could, and I'm like, I don't got that insurance. Right. 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 I'm about to pay that 275. Yeah. Yeah. I'll wait. Yo, it's they crazy. 175. Nah, it's like, fuck off. It's crazy because, like, niggas, niggas yeah. could have did it. Like, niggas could have got it. You still got to get the tires but and shit. But it just was like, you've you been waiting this waiting, long. Right? So yeah. it's like, to like, man, going through the entire week working, like, not having, like, literally, work is like from from Sunday to Wednesday is the worst mm-hmm. because the po- editing the podcast is a bitch, right? And then, like, from th- it was just whatever. So Saturday, I'm like, yeah, then. You get to chill. Murphy's Law, like then, a motherfucker. Right. He thought right. he was. He thought he was gonna be able to chill and all these, and then boom. You know, yeah, but shout out cool, to you though. for shout out to you for being a good friend. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, what's that. understood don't need to be. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, but so as far as the chat with Bozeman thing, you know, man, it's, 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 it's a constant emotional battle. Just being yeah. honest, because you know, um, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I like I call call myself getting out of Baltimore for that reason, because like in Baltimore, like a lot of the um, you know, um influencers whatever you want to call it with like not getting killed and stuff and it's like it's just mm-hmm. emotional because like you see everybody doing good and it's you only can look at it's like being a human you only can see yourself in these people when mm-hmm. people are successful right like even right. when you say Chadwick Boseman was working through cancer and things like that like these are things that I see myself doing you know what I'm saying not discrediting anybody like I love the fact that he's doing that but right. the fact that I kind of see myself in him and then he dies it's like what the fuck you know what I'm right. saying it's kind of like yeah. draining because yeah. like I want to live out my purpose, but you see Kobe Bryant dies like, yo, yeah. he's a great. I look at myself as aspiring to be one of them greats. You know what I'm saying? Nissy Hustle. I look at myself as aspiring to be one of them greats. Chad with Bozeman, I look at myself to aspire to be one of them greats. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when these people pass, it's like a part of you go away. If yeah. that was your favorite or not, that makes sense, right? right. Yeah, I mean, I, but I feel like that's it's real. just really- Legends never uh, die, though. That's a fact. That's but then fact. just a reminder, like we all here on Borrowed Time. Mm-hmm. So you need, yeah. If you yeah. have that dream, if you have that inspiration to be great- my whole life. Jump, bro. No, like, fact. Yeah. because. Tomorrow is oh, yeah. not promised. It's and really that's, not. It's, yeah. it's really not. I feel like when it's your time, it's your time. And when it's not, it's not. Yeah. I saw a story on the shave room. Um, There was a girl who was pronounced dead by the paramedics. And she woke up in the morgue. Mm. <laughs> time, bro. 30 not minutes bad. later, like she was alive. And I mean, if that's not like the epitome of if it's not your time, it's not your time. I don't know what is. And then I feel like. You know, some people that once they live out their purpose, like I feel like God calls them home. Right. So I don't think it's a yeah. negative thing, but yeah. it's inspi- it's so it's inspiring. Inspired. But what I will say for like Chadwick Bozeman and Kobe is I feel like they were they did such a good job of marking like who they were, what yeah. they Nipsey did. It's a legacy. And, and Nipsey had be, yeah. and Nipsey it's a, le- it's a sure. legacy. However, I do feel Nipsey had he, I think he had I think he was I, different. No, I think he was different, but I think he had some more time and I feel like that was robbed from him. I yeah. do feel like no, that. Fact, when yeah, you yeah. see things like Chadwick and Kobe though, like such random tragic things just happen mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. fast. Well, what about like, Kobe's daughter? Like yeah, yeah. Like, see, like, like they had time, like I feel yeah. like yo, they were going to be even like 
the daughter, Nipsey, they had so much longer to go. Yeah. But all that tells me is like, you just got to be walking in your purpose or Absolutely. living your life out to the fullest. Like you have to be literally present and just enjoying life and doing what you're supposed to do, doing right and getting yourself together for that transition. Like yeah, even, all, at all even, times. Um, you know, my friends that have passed away, you know, one thing I will say is that they were phenomenal fathers oh, yeah. and, you know, to Hell leave yeah. those young children behind like that, I that I, I don't get peace in that. Never, you know what right. I mean? Oh, yeah, That's something hard. I'll just never get peace yeah. in. But I have to believe that everything happens for, for a reason. reason. Yep. Fake hey, it. um, Fake you know, it, since baby. we already kind of like went on a, a small tangent, I feel like it was definitely um worthwhile. Mm -hmm. I want to touch on something that we wasn't going to talk about, right? The Joe Button podcast being canceled. And I want to just be quick with it. I just want to say uh, shout out to Wait, everybody. No, 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 he's, he, uh, he, 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 he left Spotify. Right. Okay, okay. That Spotify. I knew. I was like, wait, I did it's canceled? That. that was Whoa. real cast. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry. sorry. Um, the fact that he's like leaving Spotify, and I wanted to mention, I just want to say shout out to the team. You know what I'm saying? Even like Jazz was late as fuck today. <laughs> but, but I'm here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm dedicated. I'm consistent. Come on, I'm here. I, look, I be fact, canceling. You let somebody else I be say that canceling though, like, plans. <laughs> it's hey, like I was, hey, nah. I was with you hey, until hey, you said hey, it. Hey, life is short. I pat myself on the back. Yeah, hey, you better. And when you I die, put my money that's in Scorpio the grave. She gotta be bro. a big fan, right? <laughs> like I was really, I was about to go there. Then you went there. It's like you can't call yourself a goat. Listen, like, killed the moment. Listen, like, listen, <laughs> listen. When I die, put my money in the grave. That's all I know. <laughs> so stop. I was about to say. All right, all right, I was about to give you your roses, but you gave them to yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, sometimes you got to though. I get it. Like, come on, babe. Thank you. Shout out to everybody. I'll clip him. Put him Shout in my out base. To, uh, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the the non creatives in here. It's only one uh that started out with just it being a thing and you know what I'm saying? And now she's hundred percent in it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Shout out to Shade Hilla Bay. Uh shout Wait, out to and, hold on, let me just I didn't go, 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 go. However, <laughs> it's not that I'm a cre non creative. I'm a creative in my own way. So I just wanted to okay, you know, I address mean, that. Respect, respect, respect. That's respect. That's You're definitely all. a creative. I, I'm definitely. I see the just, way you put events together. Yeah, I'm definitely, when I say creative, I mean. Like on a media. Yeah, no, no, on a media. I'm well, you had a key yeah. you, yeah. you can't call yeah. me a creative. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely creative in my own way. Definitely, we rarely we rarely say the podcast name, but I got to say it. This is most definitely the Gemini Scorpio podcast. Okay, right. Times two. Yeah, not definitely, not fact. <laughs> Times two. <laughs> That's a fact. So what I'm saying is shout out to Bay. you know what I'm saying? You've you definitely been consistent. Um, It means a lot. Uh, Shout out to the camera crew. You know, these are the guys that you don't see that's definitely shout been in it. Shout them. out to, yep. you know, I love Joe and I love Lante. You know what I'm saying? Big love. And shout out to Wyman, you know what I'm saying? Because he's been here for. From the beginning. And he, he take all of the, the criticism. He yep. take all of it on the chin. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I'm always at this nigga like, yo, what the fuck? So <laughs> shout out to Wyman, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Joe. This is, I was telling my friend, like, this is the most I ever seen Joe in one setting, like in and we so a season. Season. It's, season. Season. it's like no, uh, it's like bro, it's like I, I'm at, at one point I'm thinking like yo, you fuck with the podcast, and you fuck with me because I needed you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Was, you, I can never, you can never shout be found. out to Joe because Joe like he he's nah. he, like he serves the country and he's he's here. <laughs> like yeah, that's a big deal. Yeah, like you know what I mean? Especially Thank in you. the times that we're in, hey, right? Oh nah. We appreciate shout Joe for appreciate being you, here. Bro. You know, thank you for your service, Joe. Look, you better tell him. Thank you for your service. Shout out to Lante, the base guy. You know what I'm saying? Lance to take Thank, base yeah. God. Shout out to you know Lance to uh, to perfection with us. I and shout it. out to Jay for leading the squad. Oh, Jay. Oh, you gotta give me a fly, yeah. MVP. Yeah. Shout out to my guy, Gio the Leo. Yes, Gio. Thank um, you. A lot of people don't understand that what it takes to, you know what I'm saying, the audio. It's, it's crazy. Lighting and audio is so important, right? Like, we can we can record all we want. We can talk all we want. But if the, light, if the lighting ain't right, and the, the video not going to look good. You know what I'm saying? The audio don't sound good. You, you, you're going to hear it, trust me. Like, you might not hear it now because you're used to this. Like, your, your ear is kind of spoiled. But once you hear something that's fucked up, then you can tell. Because yeah. I don't know how he'd be fixing my screaming, but he does it. <laughs> so shout out to him. So yeah, shout, shout out, out to him. Girl, uh, literally, because I, in the beginning, I used to be like, what the fuck? Did it? Tune it down, turn it up, get it right. And I was like, damn. I just damn. wanted to say that because, like, um, you know, um, somebody had hit me about Joe Button and him leaving uh, Spotify and what I thought about it. And I was saying, you know, like, I feel like Joe is one of those guys. He's like how I used to be and kind of still am. Like, I used to be that guy at work where something go wrong. It's like, you don't want to lose your job. So you'd be like, you you in a, in a break room, be like, yo, these motherfuckers did this. <laughs> and you know if that person in there, they're going to say something. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, yeah. that was me. Yeah. So it's like, I look at Joe and it's like, he's making a lot of sense. 
But it's like, bro, I wouldn't go about it. Because it's like, in the start of the podcast, it's like, yeah, fuck these niggas. They did all this. But then at the end, it's like, I mean, but if y'all get it right, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because at the same time, though, at the same time, though, you have to know your worth. You know, yeah. everybody does not exactly. value right. your worth. And right. some, if you know your worth, then you got to go step out of faith. Uh, so, yes, you know your worth, right? What I'm saying I is, feel like Joe, Bodden, Joe Budden's podcast earned the respect that they need to be putting in 100% effort. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. No. Nah, a couple minutes. All right, look, what I'm going to say is. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> not nah, facts. He, they have. However, like I was telling Sade, a while ago, we saw about police brutality, right? Mm -hmm. When you get stopped by the cop, even though we have our rights, even though we shouldn't be able to be treated a certain way, even though we should be able to say what we want, we can't because that's just where we at. We got to understand where we at. And what I'm saying is he has earned his rights. But if you're going to ask for support from Spotify or any other network, you got to play the game point blank, period. Now, I'm if you want to do your own thing, shit, I'm with it. Like, I, 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 I thought, respect I thought it. Revolt was fucking with him too, though, right? No, they are. But again, these are... That's the, black owned, though, right? Yeah, no, but but again, these are other platforms. Yeah, I know. So what when you want to play that game, you got to play that game. Now, yeah, if you right, want to right, be 100% right. by yourself, shit, say what the fuck you want. But if you want to, but the but, support but, of but, others, you got to play the game. But, but if we're talking about anything we learned, Nipsey, 10 toes down, yeah. independent. Wait, but Nipsey ain't, no, no. I, that's not a good comparison. Nipsey not doing with, Nipsey and Joe, two different people. Like, Nipsey. Had a deal on the table from Rick Ross, et cetera. And he was like, you know what? I can't because I need my team. I gave them a promise. He didn't go right, about right. it like, listen, man, these niggas is giving me this and that, that, that. And you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is if you're going to play the game, play the game. If not, don't. That's all I'm saying. So like, where does it? So I do feel like, okay, for example, I feel like Joe and his team worked himself up to a point where it's like, bro, I should be able to speak my truth regardless. Yeah. And if that's how he feels on his podcast, then he got to take on it my off. Podcast, I can say it all. If that's how I feel, like I don't mean no harm. However, this is really how I feel. Like, I think what that, is wrong with that? Not, I feel like the it. lines get blurred when you start talking about like sponsorships and yes. deals and stuff like that because it's like a platform. Like we're providing yeah. you a platform, and we, yeah. we're giving you like a monetary gain. Yeah. Like you know what I mean. So it's like it's fine lines, bro. And so, it, and, and that's the slippery slope yeah. about it. Like it's like how much do you give, and you have to find that compromise. But you don't want to sell your soul. But you right. don't, don't want to sell. That's why I said like how much do you wanna, give right? without it's selling like, yourself. But how do we know that he felt like he gave all he right. could give? And, and it's like now it's yeah. my time where I feel. I like mean, I'm gonna say I I'm gonna say my truth. Like I'm not a Joe Budden fan, but I'll say this: I respect Joe Budden's craft. I respect his work ethic. So I feel like he's like I said. I feel like he's earned his right. So. I, I understand completely what Jay is saying. Like, you can't want instant gratification. And there's also certain things that, you know, come with what you're doing. However, I'll I'll stand by Joe because I, I feel like I respect his decision because yes. he knows what he's doing. And that's how I, I like feel. That. Stop that's us at 20. What I'm saying is it's not even the, 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 the gratification, right? It's the fact that you're saying they did all this and then you double back. It. It's like you, you, you double no, down and saying because it's like you're saying they did me. They did me wrong. What they did was wrong. But in the way you're saying it, and then you come back saying, hey, if we can get it right, let's move forward. All I'm saying is, if you're going to say let's move forward, you got to move in a certain way because that's just the, the industry. Like, you, it's, it's no way you're going to say the things that you said, how you said it, and expect them to be like, oh, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Oh, we messed up. Let's, let's go for it. Nah, it's like you got to play the game right. It's like man. Monique. It's funny, though. Uh, you know, Monique. This, you know, it's, it's like Monique. Exactly. Exact, no, um, mm -hmm. exactly. That's mm -hmm. exactly like Monique because... Is what people don't yeah. understand is Oprah went through the same thing, right? Yeah. Oprah didn't like she was working in Baltimore or whatever, and her she asked for a raise because her co-host was a man. He was getting paid like double what she was getting paid. Right. She could have easily outed that company and try to come up, but uh, however she played it cool because she understood what what she like what she was going against. And now look at Oprah, Monique. She I'm not saying she was wrong. For how she felt, but the way you went at it, it's like yo, you ain't nobody gonna yeah. work with you after this. You That's all chance. I'm saying. It sucks though. Chance. It sucks though because some sometimes like. These people are not lying, you know, yeah. but it's a game. Yeah. Like you yeah. said, it's a game. No, you got to play it to win. Though. Though both but what I will real. say is, I really, I really, shout really out to him that. because he's helping creatives like us. Like yeah. he's helping us understand know the, the game. And, but yeah. we're kind of seeing he's, the shortcomings yeah, and exactly. what's, you know, the good to because, it. Because of his transparency. You know how to yeah. Right, exactly. He's been that point. So like, thank you. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Thank you. But if you ask me my opinion, it's like, if you're going to go 100% Joe Button, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Don't say that and then double down and say, Hey, if you want to, if we can get it right, we can get it right.
I think well, I think his conscience caught up to him towards the end, <laughs> and it was like, yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fucking up the brand. He's like, I'm fucking up the brand right now. Yeah. People are human, even professionals, and yeah. sometimes you know we react off of emotion, yeah. and then we come back and we be like, wait well, a second. Well, I ain't mean great. it like this. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> we honestly, what I was out, really trying to say, we, yeah. we don't know. The, I hope you don't take it personal. We don't know the deal that he got though, so he might have another deal. We like fuck him. I mean, but then that would be beautiful if it was like that. So when do you think you're at a stature where you're able, so business to business. So like, for example, so I feel like almost, and correct me if I'm wrong, I feel like when you say that, that's kind of worker to boss, mm. right? Absolutely. What about when you feel like I'm a business to business? Are yeah. you able to voice your concerns? Yeah, at that point, way? yes, absolutely. Because so, I feel like when it's business to business, it's like, okay, y'all Spotify, but I'm, what's so, up? Like, you know what I'm saying? If you do want to get when it right, when it's Boosie, what's up? When but it's if Boosie, it's worker when it's, to, when it's Boosie to, to Mark boss, Zuckerberger, <laughs> when it's Boosie to Mark but, Zuckerberg, but no, that's what it is. He said, though, "Boss the right, boss, I want to holler at you." You're right. But, it's like boss the boss. Like, it's like, look, you got me fucked up, but we could work if you want to get it right. We get, so we was this a boss. partnership with Spotify, or was this just a flat out deal? To figure out because, yeah. like, I mean, I don't know. Because you look at like, like I feel like partners? this all really started after the Joe right. Rogan deal. You know what I mean? Like all of this started to come out because you kind of, if you yeah, think about the timeline. However, um. Uh, so they it, gave him hundred mil. Yeah, it, it been it been this way. However, okay. um, he did do a great thing. He was like he wanted to buy his contract. So we could come back to this, um, because you know we off, yeah, the course of how we do it. Well, shout out to podcast. Joe overall. Shout out to Joe Button podcast. Yeah. Um, hey, because I love the Joe Button podcast. Sue me, I'm rooting for everybody write, that's black. You can write it down at the end. Just be like, yes. you know, like Joe Button mm-hmm. question mark. Uh, let's get into the podcast. Boom. So, so me first, or you want to go? Ladies first. Ladies first. I always go first. But y'all it's okay. want to go first? You can go first if y'all want. So it's so funny because shout out to Jazz. We was just having a conversation like the other night. Real deep for like conversation. Two hours just talking about just growth and like where we've been and where we're going. And mm-hmm. um, something we decided to talk about was just like growing pains. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it came from just like friendships and obviously relationships or just dealing mm-hmm. with people in general when you're in the process of growth. And you feel like you're changing, you're evolving, your mental is going to these different spaces, but you're dealing with people who's not kind of on the same path. But there's no, but there it's, there's no bad blood with these people. Right. You love these people. You want these people to come right. with you, but they just won't rise to the occasion. Right. Right. And I guess my question was like, does anybody feel like they're in situations when it comes to like friendships or people they're dealing with? Like, cause I'll, I'll be transparent. A lot of my hardships, I think just we, it was really growing pains. Mm-hmm. And my growing pains was like, I was really sitting like, damn, like, for example, I was telling Jazz, like, you know, I like, obviously everybody knows I've been working out for months. Like, and it's changed me a lot, not just out of the body aspect, but mentally mm. with the discipline. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, that's something new to me. Like, new you know what I'm saying? I didn't fully play out any sport in high school. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people, like, if you played out a sport, whatever, yeah, you might have got it, the it, discipline. Oh, it's a, it's it's a totally a, different type of discipline. It's a totally discipline. different game. So I never completed a sport through high school, right? So going through my life, I never had something that really disciplined me outside of being a mother. Like, honestly, that disciplined me enough where I was, like, proud of it. Like, you know what I mean? So when it comes to, like, working out, it really changed my mental, just of my discipline of knowing when I need to step it up or step down when it comes to my self-care and what I'm indulging in and what I'm doing with my body and my mind, right? And I was telling Jazz, I was like, damn, she's the only friend I can actually talk to that works out like me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, cares about, you know, all indulgence like me when it comes to mental and body because it's like, yo, I'm working out, I'm putting in the work. I don't have time for certain things because I'm really, my mind is going these ways. And I was like, damn, like we were just talking about like, damn, we have friends that are close to us where we feel like we really can't call or talk about like those mental evolvements. Cause it's like, nah, I ain't doing that. Or like, you know, nah, maybe later, like whatever, whatever. So it's hard. Yeah. To it's relate hard to, to like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So you almost sometimes can feel alone because it's like, damn, I can't really relate or to anybody. Or the communication starts to just fall off. And right. It's not because, because I'm doing something different. I'm doing something different. Right. And it's like, I hate to say it, but like the, who you allow into your life, it really does affect your energy right and right i think i'm just in a space in my life where i'm like all right i have to protect my energy if i continue to what is it jay i'm what's listening like why are we giggling <laughs> what's i'm listening what's nobody knows like you know what I'm saying? No, like, but we do know by your snickering <laughs> no i'm 
Go ahead. A please. key, 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 key. Please a continue. Because we ain't that far on the street. Are you feeling what I'm saying? Like, like, take this I said my mental off. above wings. Hey, if I take this hat off, it's, I'm knocking shit over. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but on a serious note, like, I just feel like I have people that I'm extremely close with, always do anything for, will always lo- love, but I can't talk to them in the same capacity yep. because I feel like they're just not where I'm at and right. it's a distraction. It and is. it also seeps negativity yeah. into my life and Girl. i'm at a point where i don't want any drama yeah. and a lot of my friends they still come in with drama yep. and it's like i'm i'm a ride right. but at the same time right. like i don't want to do that. do that exactly i'm not there i'm it's, happy exactly and so. i've made myself happy and they have not put that work in yet all right now jay what get it get it off your chest Are you all right no, we're, yeah. gonna, we're gonna zone hey, race to jay this hookah is good as shit okay yeah. what's up what have we done what do you what is going on what do you have to say um how do you feel about it Exactly the same. What? Um, wow. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a, a Gemini on a Scorpio <laughs> side. So, so what I, I love say, to see it. Wait, let's not get to it about something. All right, all right, but we're like, <laughs> we I love good. you. We lead the conversation with love. Um, you call me brother. Well, this love is new. Jay. What brother I will say love is, Jay, hey, go to hell. <laughs> what I will say is, Deacon J. <laughs> the Gemini Scorpio podcast, right? Thank you for our co-hosts and beautiful. Our, our producer and beautiful co-host, right? We appreciate. Oh, we're y'all. beautiful today. It's yeah, a no, new no. day. What I, what I will say is thank you. However, at the core of this, uh, it's a relationship podcast, right? Uh-huh. Right. What I don't understand, and I want to ask the question. Mm-hmm. Where is it? Like, so, just like I said, I feel like y'all feel right. Mm-hmm. Why is it when your man lets you know this ahead of time? <laughs> Motherfucker. It's such a huge fight. Like, like, cause sometimes you have friends. As a matter of fact, we had a podcast, a couple podcasts when it's like, yo, birds of a feather don't flock together, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? But it's like when I'm saying, hey, I don't think da 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 match with da 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 one plus one don't equal two in this situation. It's like, nah, da da da. But then we hear this and it's like, you know, when my friends, they just not want to sing. And it's like, <laughs> So I've this is what I'm saying. No, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Let me. I got you. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say two like, things and then I'm gonna leave it because it's negative, Jay. Wait, wait, no, no, no. no, no. So all right, no, I'm so kidding. Honestly, no, I'm, like all, all jokes aside. So like, all right, growing up, you know, if your parent tells you something, you don't want to hear that shit, and it's not because we know it's not right. is a, Jay is a dad. Everybody yeah. here, does that? And do we all know you, Jay is a dad? And who, 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 who okay. wants? Who wants? Don't put best your hand on the stove. Who wants? Slap <laughs> 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 the shit on the stove, yes. like. And I, oh, think, I think it's just a thing of like, when, it's my own journey. When, it's, it's pride. Exactly. The it's people, my own journey. The people journey. that are closest to you, when they say it, it's almost discounted because you feel like, what? like she said, it's it's your own journey. So I think it's one of those things where you have to come to the realization yourself. Because honestly. I'm when we talk about these people that are not where we're at mentally, physically, spiritually, it's not that they don't have people telling them to get there. We're telling them to get there. Yeah, but if, unless you want to get there yourself, right. we're just not there right now. Exactly. And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, and I will commend you, like I'm not saying like with certain situations you haven't said that. And there's some situations you don't even know about, right? So all that to say is like, yeah, Jay has, you know, <laughs> shed some light on people. <laughs> There's certain shit. situations that I don't know about? No, with my friends. Like, yeah, like, I'm sure you have things going on with your line brothers and your friends that I don't know about. Like, that's your personal business, period, right? So all that to say is the ones that you do know about and that you you have spoken on, right? It's like, like Jazz said, like, you don't know what part I'm playing in to change those roles or to change mm-hmm. that thinking or to do that, right? And it's actually hard when you give up on those people. Especially you know what I'm saying? It's not an like easy them. task. Especially when you like care when you about care them. about them, it's hard to do. And it's like I said, I call it growing pains for a reason because I said, you know, it hurt me feeling like I have to like distance or let certain friends go. It hurts. Like it's, it's a it's a very certain painful. it's a certain morning that you take on about it. Like it hurts. So I feel like as you grow, you come to realize like certain conversations is just not for certain people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and especially in the media, I had to learn that. Like I, me and Jay talk about it all the time. Like there's certain things media related. Like, I can't talk to friends that I grew up with because they don't understand the struggle. Yeah, really? You know what I mean? So, like, talking to Jay about my frustrations and, like, the process and going through it and, and just struggling as I'm building myself up. Like, to my friends, it's like, oh, no, nah, you might just be complaining. Right. But somebody in the situation that knows and is going right. through the experience is different. Um, As far as 
I feel like it's only a problem when you feel like you're being weighed down. Right, and it's right, like when right. you feel like you're not right. adding, but you're taking away. Yeah. But then at the same time, I feel like it's a it's a battle because you want to give somebody grace. Right. Because yeah. you want to push people with, and not feel like. Oh, you're you're just dead weight. Like I'm going to and drop you. And you, you. want to remember you, when you were the friend. Exactly. Yeah. So, exactly. So, that was that. You want to. Exactly. It's a. It's a, You have to have that it's compromise like, within right. yourself. And it's like, all right, it's just somebody that I may not be able to love you the way right. that I want to, but love you at a distance. But know that I'm still there at Real all shit. times. Hey, yeah. I just want to um before yeah. I take my point right, I acknowledge the negative shit when the cameras ain't right and shit like that. Hey, but for our day one listeners, they gonna understand what I mean. Shout out to the conversation at this point because we just take, <laughs> we just letting people speak and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like shout out to the no, sure, sure. the, the day one listeners going to understand. <laughs> I'm tell you the newer listeners might not really like. Why are you acknowledging that? But whatever. What I will say is though, um, Shade has came into my life and taught me this. And this is why sometimes I say, I, I think I need I, I I think I need um to work on my my grace right, and I say that because. Sometimes I told Shadé, like, I feel like she's a contradiction sometimes, right? In a relationship, just being honest, transparent, 100% transparent, right? And I say this because, like, Shadé has came into this my life. like... But I mean, no, no, I'm just being honest, right? But I'm, I'm about to call Mara, too. <laughs> what I'm saying is, like, she's come to my life and said the importance of balance, right? I'm mm-hmm. not saying that you got to leave your friends. I'm huge on friendship. Exactly. Right. Anybody that know me right. know how big on but friendship I am. However, you, you got to have balance. <laughs> so you got to understand that yeah. if you got a friend that's... Yeah, you can have a great friend, right? But if your friend is moving in a, in, a, in a certain way that you can't move in that particular situation, right? It ain't about the, it's not about 100%, right? You could be doing, like, you can't do everything with your friends. If, like, exactly. like I said on um, episode, I don't know bro. what episode, it was accountability, I think. Right. If, if you got a friend that's single, they can do single shit. shit right. Because yeah. they're bro, single. Bro, bro. They don't, like, as a man, I might say, whole friends, right. this is a joke, right? right. But however, hold up. Hold up, cause I ain't no whole friend. Uh, he I said, mean, I mean, he said it's a I joke. I mean, but again, but <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and Jazz's defense, he never like. But no, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tommy said, said no, 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 I'm not an empty real nigga. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not. Jazz said we was letting each other talk. But he's never did that. I will be honest. Wait, wait, wait. He's done called a couple of hoe, but it ain't been you. But wait, but wait. In the definition, cause I'm not a hypocrite. In the definition of what I'm speaking, you might be that whole friend in that situation, right? Wait, <laughs> hold on. Who's what you? What is going Put on? Put a date no, on listen it. what I'm saying. Put an address on it. Who's you? No, what I'm saying, a single friend can be that whole friend. That's what I'm, and I was, what I was okay. saying was, what I was saying Just was. Just not this single friend. Wow. So have I ever pulled her into some hoe shit? No, however. I don't even do hoe shit. Wait, see. There goes my boyfriend. <laughs> That's your boyfriend um, or, your, or your nigga? If y'all see this, <laughs> this conversation, this conversation was oh. going really, it was going up. <laughs> I, what I was saying I, from I, a I, from I a, just got it from a man perspective, right? All I'm saying it's is, a nigga. you can be single and do single shit, exactly, and that's okay. Yeah. However, to right. a man, right? That single shit might look like whole shit. But see, hold up. When we talk about the evolution of friends, I'm a friend that, honestly, all my best friends are in long-term relationships. She's real. That's I real. know how to respect yeah, a relationship. Always. But I also think like... there's it, You have single friends though that will try, we'll to, try drag to drag you in. You in. Last but, night, hold up, last night, before I even knew y'all got invited to Quan's birthday, right. and shout out to Quan, I didn't get to go. Yeah, right. I said, what did Kwan, I say I to you? Friend. I said, ask Jay, did he want to come you with know, us? No, she did. Aww. No, she did. That's like, true. yeah, so but, take that whole shit right. back. <laughs> no, so all I'm saying is, let me finish my point. So my point was, I was trying to be transparent and saying, you know, when you have single friends, they do single shit, and that's okay. They can do whatever the fuck they want when they're single, right? However, to a man, that single shit, it gets blurred. The lines right. get blurred, and it looks like whole shit to them. Right. I'm not saying that yeah. she's a whole, right. but I'm just being honest with right. my feelings. I'm being right, vulnerable, right? right, right? right so, like, right, yeah. I will call whole shit, single shit, and the whole shit looks similar to me. Right. I'm just right. being honest, and right. I feel like all men can relate, right? right? I'm not calling anyone a hoe. Right. Never calling. I don't. And if I do, I don't mean you to. Definitely call one of y'all. Yeah, I'm like. I didn't. Uh, I, didn't I, ain't, I, ain't call say, I ain't gonna say who you call a hoe, but, but you even definitely in that situation, I didn't call nobody a hoe. I just said whole shit, and and I'm trying to like be, be honest. Be I'm trying to. You gotta not say hoe, but you definitely called her a thought. I'm trying to be transparent in a situation that say Same sometimes thing. what is that over there? But even, okay. no, <laughs> but even but even what I'm trying to say is even I'm trying to kind of like double back and just be honest and transparent. I'm saying yeah. sometimes as a man with a girlfriend, you call single shit whole shit. And I'm not saying I don't mean anything by it, but I'm just saying I feel like a lot I, I of men right, can, right. can it's, relate it's to what I'm saying. Nah, nah, right. I, agree. So, yeah. I agree. I agree. Right. So, so, I, I, so I to reel it back into my point, what I'm saying is you can have balance, right? You understand that if your friend is going like doing things, right? Right. 
you don't have to do that thing with them right because you understand where right. you are at your life right, right. they are okay with like they can right. do they can be a whatever whatever right. they want to do they can do that because that's what they're in, in their life mm-hmm. however that don't make them a, a bad friend and what right. I, I bring that oh, up because, no 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 and i don't think we were saying that they yeah. were bad friends i think at we were all. just saying that it hurts when they're not a bad friend right. and their and you shit have is spilling to, into your life now right. so, and you but, have no choice exactly. but right. to so, fall exactly. back. Right, so what I'm trying to say is my, my point is, what I'm saying is... My point. <laughs> what I'm saying is... What are you saying? Like, <laughs> right, no, in fact, so... All I'm trying to say out. is, even in those situations, it, it doesn't make... It doesn't mean that you're, like... They aren't taking your lead or trying to listen to you or trying to... You're leveling up, helping them level up ain't working. What I'm saying is, it's balanced. They might not be leveling up in that aspect of their right. life. That don't mean you have to cut that friend off. However, you do have to cut ties in those situations. You still nah, can be fact. friends in right. other situations, but you got to have a balance to the friendship. And that's right. one thing that I didn't understand. It's being, a, it's being a cue, I swear to God, in my life. Like, you can ask my line brothers. There's always times when they be like, yo, you got to know your friends. You At do. one point in my life, I was like, that doesn't make sense because my friend is my friend. And I still kind of believe that, but now I understand as I'm a tour, I understand that like, yo, you do have to understand your friends and, and, and certain friends aren't for certain situations. Right. However, so like when you feel like those ties are being right. crossed, it's not that, that, that you can't be with but, that as a friend, it's just that you can't be in those situations right. as a friend. That's right. all I'm saying. So for, oh, right, no, 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 so I like, like I guess, cute. I guess, <laughs> so I, like I guess, <laughs> I, respect, I like it. Sorry. So I guess what I'm trying to say, even for the topic, I feel like it's actually deeper than that for me right now, mm. because some things were balanced at a point. <clears throat> Excuse me, who <hookah. clears throat> She's gonna wow. hit the hookah. <laughs> like me. We're it helped. We're sick. It, yeah, but it helped. It helped. Right. So, so what I'm trying to say is sometimes they get past balance, right? So, like, I balanced as long as I could. There's certain things, is, it's not to say that you have to walk away. However, I just know what I want my life to look like right now. Right. Right. So, after balance, it's come like, mm, I ain't really, I really just don't, some things I just don't want no parts and it might be small yeah. and it might not even be the big deal to them, but some things I just don't want no parts and it doesn't, it never means I'm ridden the friendship. You know what I'm saying? I'm always going to wish well. I'm always going to yeah. show up if I need be. If you call me, you need a hand. I'm always going to be that person. But when you but, say show up, right. here's, here's, here's what, where it's, yeah, it's it is very, very subjective, subjective because, yeah. and that's what I mean by yeah. like, some people are not where you're at because. Right. There's people who want you to show up for straight bullshit. And yeah, it's like to real. them, it's it's important. But yeah. for you, it's like, I'm not Let's getting get into it. that. I'm not I have putting a my child. life up. Right. I, have I got a shit job. to lose. Yeah, like I have shit to lose. And right. you may not have shit to lose right. yet. And this might be something you're really passionate about. Real. But I I'm I love you to death, but I can't do I that. I can't do that. And, and then it's like non-support. I feel like like the saying goes, real ones don't fall off they fall back right you know what i mean real, so real. there we go season, i love that you may not be in my life for this season but it doesn't mean like seasons change you know what i mean and that's the one thing that you have to be conscious of you know what yeah. i mean and once you have that everything that we're talking about is about yeah. perspective so you just have to shift your perspective right. towards the relationship and it's like we're evolving yeah. and your relationship is evolving and that's yeah. okay yeah and i think once you come to that yeah. realization you just have to find peace within yourself and right. know that it's no malice on right. the inside it's not it's yeah. not and that's what no i mean malice. by balance when it says like because like, some like as you said sometimes your friends want you to show up for certain things right, right. and it's balanced and you have to you have to understand and it has to be a two-way street they got to understand that just because I'm not showing up for this doesn't mean I'm any less of a friend, right? right. And just because I don't want to show up for that or you're doing that doesn't mean I got to, like, cut you off. But it's just I might have to cut those situations off. That's all I'm okay, saying. Okay, but how do you deal with friends I, that think feel away that, about feel that? Away about so that? It's, because it's, I feel like I have, I have a friend, I have who, friends who is acting right. like I've never been there for her. And right. I'm like, are you serious? But guess right. what? I, I made a post, right? So it's crazy that we're having this conversation because I made a post unbeknownst to knowing we was going to have this conversation. The post was, you saw it. I saw it. The teacher... She put on a um she put a a, mm-hmm. a list of math problems, right? The first math problem was wrong, all the other ones was right. Everybody was all the students was laughing at the at the teacher because the first math problem was wrong. And she said, I made that I made that problem wrong to show y'all how life is. And I say mm. that to say, it that's life. Like no matter what you everything you do right, they always gonna put a magnifying glass on What'd the one thing you did wrong. Right. So right. understanding that goes back to the J. Cole lyrics when he said, We gotta treat humans as if we treat kids we got to understand that it takes time grace, yeah. patience you know what i'm saying yeah. so like you got to give what you want right and it's like yeah it's hard sometimes like sometimes i might not agree with things shall they do but because i want that grace and because i want that understanding i gotta give it to them yeah. no matter if it hurts or not so sometimes in our friendships we got to understand that yo you know what 
it's human nature to understand that I'm not there for you at this moment because right. you don't you don't agree. You, right. But I'm still fucking with you. Right. So and and that's what I mean by balance and right. like it's not really it's just balance. It's like yo, I understand because I probably would feel that way, but I'ma still be here. Right. right. And but, and so for example, about, like on oh, my birthday, like, example, like uh, one of my closest friends, like I invited him to my birthday party, but he's like transitioning, like he's trying to get right with God and everything. And he texted me honestly, he was like, is it family friendly? And at that moment, I already knew where he was going with it. Like he texted me, he doubled back and he was like, bro, honestly, where I'm at in life right now, that environment, it's not I could fall back into right. where I was and right. I'm not strong enough right now. Right. And Ooh, as a man, I, love that. I have that's to respect that. that. But as a friend, that's know, impeccable. As, that's a you know what I'm saying? That's a, a but, but great friend no, exactly. to say that but, even. But as a oh man, as a man, you can respect it. But exactly. as a friend, you got to be honest. You're like, nigga, what is my birthday? You I mean, nah, even, even, nah, I did take nah, it like, because I, I know. But like, that's where I go to communication. Because right. like, yeah. I feel like if my friend ever responded to me, I respect that wholeheartedly, baby. Nah, I got you. Thank you for letting me know. Don't come. But we can go to dinner Boom. And that's what he said. He was like, but when you're free, bro, pull up. You know what I'm saying? We go parlay. And you give me an alternative it's like all right cool we still gonna celebrate you. right so those type of situations i feel like come with maturity yes. like you have to yes. understand like look i have to respect your situation and it's not that he didn't acknowledge your birthday he lets you know straight up like your birthday does not fit into my like growth that. right now yeah. yeah but he's still your friend yeah he just didn't and he probably if and he even asked is it family friendly he would have right. showed up but like give what, us a direct example so we can so okay so a direct example of that situation is like all right i have a friend say i have a friend who is switching religions right and say that i'm my daughter's having a christening and i want her to be there come on i gotta understand like no i'm sorry give us not, a, a direct example of the, the other opposite, way the, the opposite, opposite of somebody opposite. like what you're okay what so somebody is. okay so okay so okay, well, I got one i'll too, talk yeah. about a situation i'm going through right now right. so what i meant is i have a friend right and she started a business recently and the support that she wanted from me it was it was more than I was willing to give and she made me feel guilty about it but what bothered me is that I'm I consider myself a business because I'm I'm self-employed and never once has she showed up for anything that is business yeah. related for me right so at that point you know, but we've showed up for each other in other instances. Right. So now at this point, it's not that I'm not showing up for her because I don't want to support her because she didn't support me in the in, in the way, you know, it, it, at all. It's that I cannot support you in the way that you want. And because I cannot support you in the way that you want, now you're saying that I'm not a real friend right. or I've support right. or even like right. she'll say, like, will you do the podcast with Sade? Yes, I do, because that is something that is that is growing my brand as well, where I'm at. With my brand, I'm growing my brand. Right. You don't understand that because you've never respected me as a as a as a businesswoman. So right. But for you, you want me to show up, and it's like I'm I'm I can't neglect my business for you, but I can support you in the way that I can. But because that's not enough for you, now I'm a bad friend. So can I ask you this, right? And I I need all of us to be honest. Is like you said, it's about communication. Did you communicate that in in a, in a way for her to understand? Where it's like, yo, listen, coming in it having grace like yo this isn't i can't do this because such and such, and such. or was it like you making me feel bad or you trying to make me whatever nah so i basically so i gave her support right and it still wasn't enough but did you explain but i feel like and this is what i'm gonna say i feel like i don't owe you an explanation it's i, support, so I supported you so if I, I feel like you can't ask you can't tell somebody how much to support you at that point you got i feel like you I feel like you got it, and as part of it is a little bit of like a chip on my shoulder, not towards her, but just in general in life. I feel like if you want it, you better get it. If I support, you, if anybody supports me, I'm that's grateful and I'm right, lucky bro. because don't nobody owe anybody anything. Like that's in this what world. I'm saying. So what I'm saying is, I, I said it to say, yeah. Alex, for example, know right? your friend. He didn't owe him that explanation. Mm -hmm. However, the dynamic of that friendship, he gave them, he gave him that explanation, which gave them a different outcome. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying mm -hmm. she's wrong. However, the way we react in situations can determine the outcome of where we're going to be at. So right. if if you, like, hypothetically, the only, only thing we can look at is us, right? right. Yeah, she could have did it wrong, right? However, you you might have could have responded in a way to, that was more graceful. Or, Honestly, I tried, and it's the way she was coming at me. It was almost like she wanted to fight me but for I, it. But I also, mm. also want to like, say that. She was that, like, yeah, you fake ass like, bitch. Like, I don't do that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, oh. don't speak to me like that. Because right. at that and point. I also feel like sometimes. What kind, what kind of I friends? I feel like friends. Yeah. I, but I, and you know, and just to get into the nitty gritty of friendships, right? 
I feel like at the end of the day, some friends are, they do feel more entitled. Yeah. And I feel like sometimes it no matter how graceful or how pleasant I come to you, you're only going to meet me where you are. So it's not always about how I could respond or react. Sometimes they already responded in a way of just like, so yep. for example, like, like, like I said, this week has been a lot of growing pains for me, even with my own friendships of just realizing where we are now, like from like close friends that I've known for years. Since right? we were children. Since I was a kid, like since I was a kid. And what the one thing I realized is just like people expect, like, for example, my biggest thing is right when I was 15 and 16 years old, I was a wild nigga. I was, you know what I'm saying? I also was in and out of my mom's house. I had friends at that time that helped me in different ways at that time of my life, right? I've never took it for granted. I've always show up to this day, right? I feel like those same friends, though, can only still respect me from where they knew me. Yeah, I was 15. I was 15. <laughs> but however, you'd be surprised. I'm about to, but you'll be surprised. Same, same thing it's with family. Family's the same People way. People see you for how they, they know you yeah, for, what but they know not you for. my growth what of I, what I've done. What, and that's fine. Hold on. So, and that's fine. However, you cannot expect me to respond to you like you're my 15, 16-year-old savior. I'm also now about to be 30 years old. I have a whole new aspect. And if you can't respect that, I feel like you cannot respect me. And people take advantage of yeah. that because they feel like, well, I helped you. Right. Okay, but they do, though. And, I, and I've helped you in ways, too. Yeah. But I, I'm not forever indebted to you right. because you helped me. I and don't if care you what did you help me, do. it should have been out of the good goodness of your, of your heart. Because anything I do, you don't owe me nothing. Period. I don't count favors. I don't, whatever I do, for, you don't owe me you shit. You know what's crazy? Like, like, the, you know what the friend that I was talking about, it was crazy to me because never once have I said anything to her about, well, you're not a real friend because you don't support me. I've never even yeah, but put that's, those two right. things together. I, I, I don't so even process that she, it that way. Me either. So right. the fact that she processed it that way, it's like, it made me feel like, damn, so, can you and be I my friend still? And I feel about, that. So we talked about um, communication, right? And people, some people say communication is the key to all relationships, right? And you know, friendships, whatever. But other people say it's not communication, it's how you communicate. And then it's comprehension. It, right, I was about to say it's that. Comprehension. And, 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 and deeper than that, it's not even just how you communicate, it's comprehension, right? So it's we sometimes we have to say things in a way for somebody to understand. And we have to understand that maybe I'm not communicating it in a way for them to understand. We gotta take a step back. It's like, for example, a relationship. Me and Shadow have been having the same conversation for almost for two years now, right? Almost three years, right? It didn't take until the other day for Shadi to really understand what I was saying. And I gotta accept that. And as a friend, Again, it goes back to J. Cole's lyrics. We got to have patience to understand that, like, you can tell your daughter something a million times and she not get it until the one time she gets it. But I also it. feel like, not to cut you off, I also feel like it's also the communication from the other end also changes. Like, as we're grown, we're also communicating differently. We also see things differently. So I only was able to comprehend because of how you communicated that time. So, so, what, so it is also subjective. So it is, it's always subjective, right? right. I'm, huge, I'm huge on being subjective because right. it is. We are different. We all have right. two pair of eyes that's different from everybody else for a reason. Right. What I'm saying is we always can look at us, right? If you were moving in a way before, right? Even if it was that fit, your 15-year-old self, right? And that's when we met. You got to understand why they look at you like they do. Because it was something that I did. It was something that I said. It was something that my actions done. Even if I did change for the better. Right. I have to understand why you look at me like that. And right. then I have to be able to, 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 to break that down and comprehend it. And then... Relay it in a way that you understand. It's not that it's wrong right. for either but one. What about the friends that do just get it though? And that's why I said like I'm really them. heavy on finding your tribe because I also feel like okay, yeah, you might have helped me to 15, 16, but I got other people I grew up with the same one who's respected so, but my yeah. growth, Go who's ahead. respected my growth. And I feel like on your path, certain people see you that way because they're not a part of that journey. So like right. if they right. see you at 15 and they're stuck with you at 15. They're stuck in that mindset because they didn't see exactly. 15 to 29. You know what I mean? Right. So they're still stuck there because they didn't realize, like, I went through. Unless you have that conversation, it's like, yo, this is what right. I was. But I went through X, Y, and Z. Right. And that caused me to evolve. But, but well, what I'm saying is, is that okay, some of these people, I went through much, stuff okay, with together. Exactly. Because, like, what I'm not going to do is, like, yeah, at the end of the day, growth with, comes with self-accountability and reflection. That's fact. I do that all the time, right? Like, that's something, like, so I'm not saying in all these situations it's like that. But what I will say is just as much as we could believe in why pro police brutality is a thing and understand why they're doing, not understand, but be, can able, 
we are able to communicate why they do not like black people or why they shoot them is just as the same as the fact that humans are humans. At the end of the day, some people are just not going to respect your growth. Right. Like it doesn't matter if they seen it, if they didn't, somebody, some people just don't want to see you in that light but guess because what? they also are going through their own but, shit as well. But guess what? It's not always just exactly. about me, what I'm doing wrong or how I didn't communicate it. Sometimes Friends need to step up too. Like if like it, it's not just about a person. Like oh, let me look at always. Sometimes if and that's why I said like why it comes to balance no longer being a thing for me and knowing when to remove myself. Yes, and knowing absolutely. when to let go. Absolutely. It's past that. So all, all I'm saying is like and um, all I'm saying is for example for like at least you made a great point, right? Whenever and because it's a relationship, I guess I'm gonna try to release the relationship. When a relationship, I don't know what you did at this point, this point, or this point. However, I know what you did at. When I met you, right? So let's say three years from now, you change, right? All I know is what you've been like up until now. Mm -hmm. So all I'm going to react on is what you've been been like up until now. That's so not the, great. So but that's, a, I'm not, that's not great. I'm not, but that's how a that's lot of people great. get divorced. Right, I'm not, I'm, not great. Hold up. Let me, I'll let you speak. So what I'm saying, I'm not saying it's not grease. However, you have to be transparent. You have to understand that everything in life matters and history matters as well. Like if, if, I have, if you have a history of doing this, this is all I seen. So... As a friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, all I'm saying is we have to look at ourselves and say, yo, what did I do for you to look at it like this? But, but at when what does it point come is time, it unhealthy? Right. When does it come unhealthy for you not to respect the growth? So it's not because that's where I think is the when to have me, we that's grown where apart I'm at with the disconnect. When have we why grown apart? When have we right, officially because, grown apart? Because my thing is like, okay, even if we replay it back to relationships, right? Me and Jay going on three years, right? Say we've been addressing a problem, whatever, and say because sometimes it can also be like Okay, you have shown me situations where you changed from that time, mm -hmm. but I'm still holding on to the past, and that's who you are to me. When, right. it, like, that happens too, and I think and that at that point you are that you point, are holding him back. Exactly. So all I'm saying is exactly. All I'm so, saying is we can. All I'm saying is it plays on both parties. That's it. Uh, so so I guess we can. All I'm, my whole point is is that we can if 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 we stop looking at other people because we both have parts. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that your friend doesn't. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm not making any excuse for friends. All I'm saying is for self. All I'm saying is if you have, because I'm one of them people that hold friendship dear, near and dear to my heart, right? I can only Same. look at right. myself. Absolutely. Right. So all I'm saying is like, if I said something or if I did something to make this happen, let me look at myself. I'm not saying y'all are wrong. Right. And all I'm saying is at a point when you're growing and you're getting in to know yourself entirely, you know what you want and you know what you do that's not want. And, and it's, it's okay. not always. And, and, and it's okay. Like, I don't good. give a fuck which sometimes, end it falls on. Sometimes it's you even know okay. what you want. Even if you want that person there, you know that it's just not good for you. Exactly, period. So, and I'm allowed to be able to remove yourself. Remove myself. That's like, a great period. point. And it doesn't make me a bad friend. And it doesn't make me, it's just that I don't want no parts. It period. Doesn't. And I'm allowed so to, that's, as a human, grow And that doesn't that mean that, that I won't be back around when you right. do meet me at the level that I'm at. Or maybe right. one day I'll have to meet you at the level you're at. But right now, I'm if good. I, if I, I'm, I will self-destruct if right. I allow you to right. keep on exactly. draining my energy. And you do have exactly. to know when you have when, to step back. You gotta know when you and, can. Right, but I do think that's like, I feel like sometimes like, some like, we all know letting go, walking away are like some of the hardest things oh, yeah, to do. Sure. And I also yeah. think it's always when somebody is able to do it, people are offended because right. they yeah. don't know how to do it yet. You know what I'm saying? Like they get very offended and it's like, you know what? That's fine, but I'm doing this for me. Whatever way you do it, do it for yourself. That's Whatever it is, do it for yourself. It does not matter. That's do it for yourself. So and that's, that's just where I'm at with it. That's And, and you have every I right think that to be sums right it up, yeah. honestly. It does. Yeah. So yeah. let's go to... um. Wanting to relate to your significant other, right? So this is something that um, me and Alex was talking about, and I feel like the ladies can con kind of give like the opposite opinion, right? Wanting we, to relate to your significant other, can you? Yeah, we about, no, about to get yeah, So like, so far as like me and Alex had a, I have no idea. Me, me and Alex had a conversation. We was like, yo, um, he was saying how his ex girlfriend was saying um, how every time he tried to like bring. She would bring an issue and he would try to relate to her saying like, you know what? I feel the same way. She would say something like, you you always make it about you. Oh. Right. And and it was like, and when you said it, it was like, damn, that's crazy because I have a similar situation. Right. <laughs> and as men, I feel like, as men, I feel like we are, we're trying to like relate situations to us because it's a way to understand. Right. And I feel like, and what I think. Honestly, like, I think all humans have this issue. We always want to be understood, right? Like, we always want to be understood. So, like, 
to give love, we want to be understanding. So our way of being giving understanding is being relatable. I mean, I they had a, uh, a not a problem, but like just a little situation this past week where we both working now and Shade felt like she couldn't come to me because she felt like I was going through the same thing. And she thought that I was going to relate it back to me going through the same. She was like, say exactly what you said. So basically, like me and Jay are both like swamped with work right now. It's a lot like we're dealing with it. And um, I felt like I couldn't go to Jay because like a lot of times, like when I go to Jay in a similar situation, it's like I feel you. But it's not directly comfort in the yeah. way it's like I'm going through the same thing. So I get it. But that's it. Like, it's never like, damn, baby, kiss you on the forehead. I know work is hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it's going to be all right. Whatever. It's like, I feel you. I'm going through the same thing. And for women. Damn, when that's it's, crazy. It's like, it's, 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 <laughs> it's similar to a damn, that's crazy. That's wild. that's wild. Like, you might as well have said that. But like, for women, like, it's almost hard because we're so, for me, and this is just me thinking, we're so used to being the nurturers and the ones who's like, come to pat the back. Like, I felt like I had nobody to do that for me in that time because he was going through the same thing. So, and, you know, as men, I feel like, and not just men, like I, I feel like our way, our, our way of um, like being there for you and patting you on the back is saying, you know what? I feel exactly what you're saying. Right. I, I understand exactly what you're going through because I'm going through the same thing. Uh, and it's not that I'm trying to like put it on me. It's just, I'm trying to use that moment to, slip, to say, yo, we're the same people. I right. get it. I'm here for but you. But I like, seen a tweet that said, like, when people are telling you or venting to you, you don't always have to, well, me too, or say yeah. your side. Because sometimes, like, for example, like, he brought up, he was, like, you know, something Jay brought up to me. He was just like, you know, I feel like when, you know, if it was a girl to girl, like, it's not the same thing. But I'm like, nine times out of ten, me and my friend aren't going through the same thing at the same time. So my friend's able to be there for me. Unless it's and, us. But <laughs> I've seen, but, 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 but I've right. seen, exactly, but I've seen times where girls be like, yo, for, this is for example, right? Like, this nigga get on my nerves. And she, let's say she, she, she vent to her friend. And her friend like, yeah, bitch, I get it. Because this is no motherfucking nigga. No and it's sure not, we it's, have it's the not. Same feelings, you know what it is? Sure you know what it is? Feelings, but I've you know what it is? You want your man to, you, I'm not looking for, I'm looking for. I'm looking for, I'm not even looking for, I'm looking to vent when it comes to my friends. I'm not necessarily looking for the comfort. If it right. comes with it, right. that's a plus, but I'm looking to just let it out. With my man, I'm, I'm looking, looking for you to make me feel safe, protect right. me, make me feel Bro. like it's, it's going right. to be okay. Right. So why is it, right. so So why doesn't it feel safe when I'm saying, I feel, I feel you. you. Yeah. Like, I'm literally, that's, that's, that's not saying you're safe. Like, like that's, not, feel... that's not coordinating your safety. With me, that, I know you're going through that. Like, for example, right? I work from home now. I don't have an escape no more. So, like, before I go to the office, I could come home. It's my escape, right? When I'm venting to my men, I'm looking for my escape. Like, so it's not like you're saying, like, oh, baby, I get it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Come here. Yeah. Like, lay in my arms. Like, it's going to be all right. Like, you're saying, like, me too. That's not my so, escape no more. So That's what, just, yeah. So I'm where, in the where same we, environment as you. So like, where we're where, all where, in the where, same where, environment. Where, so as as woman, right? I want to. I just want to for, for understanding purposes, uh, right? Yeah. For under, thank you for right. understanding purposes, right? Because there's been times where you've came to me with situations and then you said say that I was being nonchalant or I wasn't being there too. And when I when I wasn't relatable, when I was like, you know what, I feel you. I'm I don't know what to say. I'm here for Damn, you. Damn, that's you know, crazy. But, but, <laughs> right? So it's like we, okay, we can't so win for losing. Point, it's not what do we do? Losing. It's like, and this is what I boiled to boil Some it down words to. Of encouragement, I feel maybe. like men are still struggling to be emotional. Absolutely. And when it comes to women. Like, just as much as we know how to nurture our children. If my daughter comes to me, school is hard to come here, baby. Like, right. let me tell you something about school. It's not, I'm not going to say, I'm not, I'm not going to say, I don't know well, what to say. When I was in math, I can't I'm say not going to say, well, when I was in math, that shit was hard too. Right, uh, I can't not? say that. Like, I Bro, feel like, yo, no, I can say I'm that, gonna but say, I have to follow I'm it gonna, up. I'm gonna I, have, I can up. say I'm that, but say, I have to follow it up. Well, what do you need? Do you need me to get you a tutor? Do you need me to go to What do you need? Just in our situation, right? I've tried to, like, find solutions, and it's like, first, it'll be like, yo. Yeah, it'd be like, yo, for example, right? We was driving home and I'm like, yo, all right, bet. So for me, right? Because I'm in a similar situation. Here you go. No, no, I'm, no, I didn't say this, but I'm, so I'm saying why. But what I said was, all right, bet. So what are you passionate about, right? And it kind of, the response was kind of like, it was like, I don't want to hear that shit. It, no, now, because hold, I hold did up, it. That's, not, up, the that's not the proper that's response. response. Hold, hold, There's nothing I can do. So you up. fucking know that. Hold Just up. make me feel better. No, hold right. up, hold up, hold up. So you say, make you feel better. Hold up. Just listen, what I'm saying is, you say 
it gotta follow like you literally said it gotta follow something we can rewind the tape you said it gotta follow something so right. me it's like all right bet i'm trying to find a solution to make you feel comfortable exactly. well, hold right. up why i'm trying to do this because this is what i do in those times so for me right but you're hold loving up me like hold, you hold but hold don't do that listen, you have to yeah. love me like me i'm not yes. saying that i'm not but what i'm saying is you don't i feel like a lot of times the effort for men are is 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 um overlooked because even if i'm saying all right bet what are you passionate about right I'm trying to help in that situation, right? So me saying, what are you passionate about? I have, Hold I up. That so so me, it's like, all right, bet. So if work is good on your nerves, right? So for me, I'm this is why. I'm not this is, I didn't say this, but this is my why. My why is because all right, when I go to work, nothing at work for for the most part, I'm not gonna say at all, but for the most part, nothing at work is gonna fuck me up to the point where I'm bringing it home because I know where I'm That's at. Not true. Hold up. I said That's for the most true. part. I just I just said for the most part. So okay. when I'm, I, I literally said, for, cause I'm not perfect for the most part, right. nothing at work is going to affect me when I'm coming home because I know what I'm at in my mind and my heart. I want is a bigger picture. So that work shit ain't about to be forever. Okay. So hold up. So what I'm saying is when I ask you questions, like, all right, bet, what are you passionate about? Because for me, it helps me to refocus on my passion. Right. So I understand that like, all right, work is getting on my nerves, but let me focus back on what I'm passionate at, And that can take away from my feelings at work because that work shit ain't all what it's cracked to be. So what I'm saying is when I come to you, I'm really just trying to help. I'm saying, you know, in my in my situations, okay. this is what helped me. So maybe it can help you. Okay, and this is what I say. You ask because you want to be educated, educated from yeah, women, yeah, yeah. right? And what I'm saying is, one, one, everybody, okay, so let me get this very straight, right? I know people to this second that's still trying to find their passion, and right. that's okay, yeah. right? I know some people that are just good at a lot of things that they don't know what they actually Wanna love. Do. Yeah. That's yep. okay. Yeah, I is. also know that what you turn to when your work is hard may not be what I turn yeah, to when, I, when right, my work is hard, right. right? And on top of that, sometimes, like you say, like for the most part, so these are in my non-most parts, right? Mm -hmm. Because for the most part, I'm good. I don't come to you with work problems, and I also don't take my work home. However, we're in a different situation, right? Now we're in a pandemic. Now I'm working from home. When I was at the office, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? But now my home is my workspace. Right. So now I'm in a different element. Right. Because now I'm sitting at my desk in my house, in my room. <laughs> right. And I'm sitting at my desk in my house, in my room. And I got Amaya calling me because she's hungry. I got work going through the fucking roof. And me? I'm frustrated all in that, yeah. the I house. Fool, like I'm in the house. Right. Exactly. I'm, just I'm being in the house. Yeah. Right. So ideally, when you come to me talking about my passions, I have things that I love. I ain't fucking worry about that motherfucking right now. Right now, I'm trying to figure out how I can feel better this second. It's so, not so, about right. the passion. So, so what I'm saying it's is, not about, it's not about the passion. It's not, it's not about, about the bigger picture. It's not it's about the that moment. I can't do my right. work. So it's it's not about none of that. I can get through this work. I'm going to get this. It's I'm going to get yes. through my work so, like I always have. Yeah. I'm gonna but in this moment, I'm irritated second, and I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated and I need so, to be relaxed. I need to be so relaxed. What I'm, saying that, what I'm saying is, in those moments for me, what I do is I look at the passion. So me trying to relate, I'm trying to help you get through it As this moment we're saying that doesn't work so i feel like right. it, so, so i, what, I feel right. like it might boil down to i don't want to say love language to a degree but love language that probably to a degree is what it is because like you might be somebody as words of affirmation you know what right. i mean and it's just like sorry babe. Right. like but it's that there. so for women what do you want so, what, uh, for, so in was, those times say like, exactly I'm, I'm okay I'm no gonna say you. the words though right say okay. exactly what you want so in that time when i was going through, like so i've been going through a lot of work my boss got fired my director quit in one week mm. okay so you got to understand everything came crashing down in my department it's only four of us right now because they already let three people go and it's that's it mind you i'm dealing with a hundred contracts a week mm. you know what i'm saying so I am stressed out. In those moments, I'm really just looking for a hug, honestly. So, okay. I'm looking for a kiss let's on the see, forehead. Let's, I'm see, just looking let's for... see if I can say what you would want as a woman. Because yeah, I know what I would want. All right, let's okay, see. so I say like I'm like very it. stressed out at work. No, 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 hold up. Say, tell her. <laughs> and then you respond. Okay. Okay. Role play, okay. role play right now. Okay. okay. You know what? I'm fucking sick of work. My fucking boss is driving me crazy. I got hella contracts to put in. I'm fucking tired. I fucking fumbled on a fucking hundred thousand dollar contract. I have to fix it right now. My boss is on my ass. Like I can't, bro. Okay, so I this can't. Is, this I is, even this know that. Would be, I can't. This would be. I can't. <laughs> this is, you ain't tell so, me that though. Like, I just okay. can't. So this would be my response. But she ain't tell me that. But, that's but I that can't. Note. That's the whole point of this topic. I can't. But this is already different because I didn't okay. even know that. But I can't. <laughs> I can't tell him because he's a, again from history. Person of history, you know your history. That's when fair. I go to Jay, it's damn me too. 
bro. Okay, or okay. I'm going through mad shit too. I can get it. I want it. So I'm going to lean back with the arm. No, no, no. So I'm going to lean back with the arm. I'm going to lean back with the arm. I'm going to lean back with the arm. Wait, wait. Since we've been here, though. This is my man right now. So I'm going to respond in what I would want. I can't. I'm Before she said that, though. Hold on. I can't. It's too much. All right, boom. This is, this is, I'm going to, I'm, I'm gonna respond in what I would envision okay. happening like, for me. That that much. that has never happened and probably never will. But this is just what right, I, right, want. Right, right. So, I can't. All right. I'm, so I'm first, stressed. I'm gonna start by. Baby, by I'm gonna no. I'm gonna start by telling but you. But she don't do this. Like cut it off. You don't cut. <laughs> help. Like, in her head. Like, like in let's her not head? be. Let's be real about it. All right. So this is this is this is what I would think the hey, solution yo. was to that because obviously, there's nothing I can do. So let me just see what I can just make an illusion with to make her feel better. <laughs> All right, boom. So we can start with this. Well, if you did fumble a hundred thousand contract, I didn't even know you're the that. Best, you're the best looking bitch that ever fumbled a hundred thousand dollar contract. I love you. I love yeah, I you. Do. <laughs> I do. Then, then going to run you a hot crap. bath tonight because you need you. it. Then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna have you a cup of coffee at your desk. I love you. I'm gonna have everything set up and organized, Mary. and I'm gonna Matter say fact, I might even you. leave a sticky note that says you got this. I I love you. They okay. need you. I'm gonna be Mary. honest. No, I, I ain't gonna hold you. That's I ain't gonna. No, no, no. Let me, let me, let me keep note, it 100 though. Okay. okay. As men, I can't stand for, for all men. But you know what I've always gotten, girl. Just let me take. No, nah, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> nah, dead ass though. That ain't because no as work. men, I feel like we don't think like that. Like that shit. Because I feel like we were always taught to like, man, just deal with that shit. You know what I mean? So like, we're stuck in a mindset of just deal with that hey. shit, and it's it's terrible because it's like. So do you we guys want to be with men? Unlearn? Oh. No, because I don't understand. But I'm saying, as men, we it's were okay, taught to deal. Okay, if you guys were taught that, you guys have to now be taught how to deal with women. Yeah, but at we're the earning. end of the day, it's I, time. No, I, I the agree. time is I, now. I agree. I Chadwick agree. Chadwick just died. Like, I, let's do so, yeah. right. So, so what I'm like, saying, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, all right. So again. Like you said something that I But then I, men will flip but, that and be like, Well, Chadwick well, had cancer and he still was able to work. So you're I mean, I mean, nothing. but wait, man, but, I, mean, I, I mean as a man, I mean, but when you talk about as a man, just deal hold with up, it. Hold, up, like, if, hold if, up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I had to take what she said, right? She said history, right? Because that's something I preach on that. I gotta take that, right? Now respect. Something that you preach on, right? Is don't hold don't hold me like let me grow. Like she says this. Okay, like like hold up, hold no no, ain't no butt because I had to take that. Boy, it wasn't not a you butt. said butt though. You said butt okay. So what I'm saying, hold up. So hold up. So I had to take that, right? I had to take that like history made her react in a way that she probably didn't want to rap because that's what she's used to. Right. I can't understand it. Okay. However, right? If I'm trying to change, like you always say, okay. give me grace or let me change or let me, let me, you see, okay. you says that, right? At that moment, you never said I fumbled. A, I, I can't respond like that because you never said you ain't right. say nothing. I did. Like, right. I, so I agreed. Agreed. But I did tell you I'm going through a lot at work. I'm very stressed out. And what I, I let you so, know okay, that cool. off the top. So, did I not? So, so, all so, week it's been, so bro, I'm going play? through a lot no, no, right no, now so at I'm work. Saying, I'm, all I'm saying, a lot. No, I'm not taking it away okay, from you. I'm saying, talk? no, can we role play in what a I way? Told of, yes. I'm just going through a lot right now at work. Like, it's a lot. Like, I can't even do. I can't have sex with you. None of that. Hold the fuck up. No, let's roll. No, because a lot of no, no, a lot. No, wait, what wait. happened was let me tell you what. No, no, because you're not gonna fucking. No, try no, to no, 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 excuse me. no. I'm just saying it's fair. I, 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 hold the fuck yeah, on. Yeah, hold the though. fuck on. Good. Hold the fuck on. So what happened was I'm stressed out at work. I'm gonna tell you what it was, right? Me and Jay smoke a J. This nigga is in the back of me like, I'm like <laughs> I told I'm you to like, read this boy. Week. Like I'm like, boy, hey, nah, back the fuck up off of me. That's how we do. Nah, nah, like, that's how that's how I do it to you. No, since he won't put it out there, like we high, right? I'm just I'm stressed out at work. I'm smoking because I'm stressed out at work, right? I put on a movie. I'm laying on the side of the couch. Jay just get up, start humping my butt. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm does this mean you want to fucking have sex? Like, I'm good. Like, because I'm smoking, because I'm stressed out of work, and you didn't even really act yeah. like you right. didn't even, so, can't even like, see the stress. No, I'm he not, didn't even see, he I'm doesn't not, see the I'm stress not, wait, on me. I'm like, not. hold on. And the thing that niggas have, I've heard y'all have said, when women are mentally stressed, we don't want to have sex. Yes. That is Factual. not helping me. Like, Right now, if you can't mental stimulate me right now while I'm in the fucking stresses, I'm not fucking you. Right, right now. and I I'm, I'm not. Sorry. I'm not taking I'm nothing. Not, I'm not. Period. All I'm saying like, is, I'm not. I'm not taking nothing away from that. Again, my same point is, you not like so. What's we got to be right. honest? The variables right. got to be the same. So Monday, Tuesday, I'm Shade, stressed at work. No, Monday, Tuesday, Shade is on me like a bunny rabbit, right? 
What? No, hold up. <laughs> hold up. So, so, so me. Monday, I, Tuesday, no, Wednesday. Wait, wait. Don't let him fuck me no. up because it was three wait, days, no. my nigga. Give me my third day, my nigga. Wait, it, was it was three, three days, days in a row. It was three days okay, in a row. All right, all right. Don't well, fucking okay, play me. Okay. It was three days in a row. Let me say, so, initiated. So, we right, talked about so initiated sex on the podcast. Out. Alex, right. you know what I'm saying? I initiated okay. the box. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Three days You're in a row. You're making it worse for yourself. No, I'm not. <laughs> what I'm saying is, okay. No, three, I'm not. So three days in a row. No, so, I'm not. So three days in a row, right? I'm trying to keep it going. I'm trying to. Right, so, so, <laughs> We're trying to consistency so over wait, here. So wait, so wait. It was three days in a row, right? Exactly. This helps me out, right? Three days in a row. I'm. I'm like, damn, that's lit. Let's make it to seven. No, we have had this conversation of women not initiating sex, and I'll give you that. So, as, that's why I'm saying make the variables right. Make it, make it understandable, right? Balance. So, so three, three days in a row, right? So the fourth day, again, you ain't come to me say I'm stressed at work. I did. So, I okay, did. Cool. You didn't I can, listen. I can, I can, I all can be. All he heard under, was, fuck me now. So right? all, all I'm saying <laughs> is. just thinking about the past no, three days. All I'm saying I'm is, like, bro, all, all I'm, I'm saying is, All I'm saying is three days in a row we had sex, right? The fourth day. I'm trying to have sex with you because I understood the three days you she initiated all three days. Shout out to you. Balance. The fourth day, I'm trying to initiate. Right, right, so, right. But the fourth day, instead See, of like instead men only worry about getting fucked. No, it sucks. but what I'm saying, I'm trying like, to that sums it up. What, what, what just I'm, can't win again. Right, we can't. So <laughs> at, what I'm saying is, at the fourth day, Give instead up. of you saying like, "Yo, man, I fucked up a hundred. I this is my first. It's Sunday." I never even knew you fucked up a hundred dollars, hundred thousand dollar contract. You. That's the whole reason I couldn't tell you because every time. We're gonna let the audience listen, it's better. Because... It's better than than the responses I've been told I him. I said I'm going through you want, magic. I'll make you feel work. better. I'll make you feel better. You want to hear the responses I'm getting? I'll be like, yeah, you know, I'm just really stressed out because, you know, I lost a, a major contract and so forth, and the nigga will be like, see. That's because you didn't come see me. If you would have come see me, came to see me, you wouldn't have to worry about a contract. Motherfucker, I did not come see you. This is where nah, I'm at right a... now. This, this like, you, bro, that's worse. Like, now compare your that's worse. That's worse. Now compare your that's situation. That's worse. That's worse. Moving on. Come on. That's, that's no, moving on. Moving Compa on compare your situation now. No, I had a question. Wait, I had a question. Time out, time out. Question. Shout out to him, though, because he did say, well, you want me to buy the company? No, 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 no. But, nah, she we not, but she ain't we the not whole friend. This but conversation be one-sided. The conversation know, not going to be... Because the nigga Jake. wants to buy me a major corporation. No, 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 spills over on your friends. Now, you, now she's looking at me unintentionally like, so are you going to buy the company? No, I can't fucking buy the fucking company, no. Like, keep that with your friends. But now listen, listen. Know your friendships, know your partner, motherfucker. I know damn right. But this is who you hanging out with. I know that you ain't going to buy this motherfucker. But this is who you're hanging out with. She's going to look at me like, can you buy the... No, I can't. Keep that conversation Where separate. Wait, my checking, uh, checking account is, I got to check it in the still, savings. But you know what? I can tell you why we're, we're never Take happy. Take three days. Because that wasn't good enough for me. I was like, you know what? I got to go. All right. You know I'm stressed out but right now. And Alex, I can't have this, this because bullshit Alex, conversation. For the sake of it not being a one-dimensional conversation, right? Because it was. Jay, what would you have wanted after you were like, damn, I'm feeling the same way too? Yo, like, I okay, feel you. that was a Stop great this. question. No, no, so, no it's question. not a good question because right nah, now, nah, nah, look. I'm the one stressed out. Nigga, we will worry about you. We you stressed no, out. No, See, that's the problem. He didn't we come stressed. tell me. I've been telling right. Jay all week. Because I've as out. men. But here's the thing. No, as women already knew he was stressed out, so I didn't come to him. See, that's what you do. As a man, you never think I'm stressed out. Because men don't and even I think that's care. The they don't see like, you that way. At the end of the day, I've always known he was stressed, which is why I didn't say nothing. Wait, you know wait, no. that's the worst thing to have to no, do. No, 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 out of respect no, for your stress, she sacrificed stress, hers. I sacrificed mine, something women do a every, lot. That's, every day. Like, a guess lot. What? That's what men do. So, so, all right, can we No, I don't want to hear that. Answer what Alex said. So, <laughs> so, I don't want to fucking so, hear it. What, Answer what Alex said. If, what would you want to do when you want, said, when you said, damn, me too, babe. Babe, I feel you. No, what would like, you have? Yo, I'm telling. Damn, me I'm too, babe. I'm, I'm answering. you. Me, I'm damn, me too, babe. You're me now. Yo, uh, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, and honestly, you've said these things before. All right, um, you know, like, you gotta. I mean, you gotta suck it up. So where's my comfort? Where's my comfort? Which I know what he wanted to hear. What I want. No, so I'm, <laughs> like, I'm getting you what I want. Out, but he's me, so I'm, I'm like. You asked bro. me what I would want. I'm, All right, that's fine. See, so Shadi has came to me. Shadi has came to me and said, "Yo, I mean, well, maybe your faith ain't in order." And I'm like, I you taking on a chin. You just I'm like, I'm, no, you know what? She said that. I'm like, damn. Let me get my shit. Now you're taking on a chin. That wasn't after no work shit. First of all, that was just a vent. But right? it still and was I a vent. That. And right, I said, but, you know okay, what? Okay, but if he would have said, like, baby, let's pray more, I would have caught that. And you know what? But, 
Again, you're right. Listen. You're right. He didn't even say but that. Listen, so at least I gave a listen, solution. Listen, listen, no, no, when you no. Just say, when you just say, me too. Me too. No. Is that a solution? No, listen, no. listen, listen what I just said. I gave a solution that you didn't like. My solution was, like, yo, what you're passionate about? <laughs> wait, no, because we're, no, we're, we're overlooking what I, I did give you a solution. I said, yo, what are you passionate about? That was my solution, but it wasn't. I know what I'm passionate up, about. Up, but that, but, it wasn't, but wait, contract. it wasn't enough for you. Hold up. Just like you say, yo, if you would have said, baby, let's pray more. My equivalent to baby, let's play more was what are you passionate about? So hold up. I can know my me, passion right now. I still gotta go to work tomorrow. No, Period. you're missing. My, I still gotta go to bills work. Bills still tomorrow. gonna hit. Ooh, all right, let's Still, bills still move gotta on. go. Move on. Okay. So we'll when we bring to, to God, that's we're the end all be all. I would have understood that. But again, to be honest, I'm not. I'm not. All I'm, I'm all I'm saying, listen, listen. All I'm saying is I'm not saying you're wrong. However, you said a solution. Did you get the education from the women that you asked for? Wait, wait, wait. We're telling you. You asked for. You asked for a solution, right? Okay. I gave you a solution. It just wasn't the solution that you wanted. No. Okay. Or so now you that you ask know, for women, now to that give you, you direction, and we're now that you know the solution that you want, right? Can you so now, that? I, so now that I know the solution, what you right? Gonna say? Let's role play. Come on, let's do it again. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so stressed out at work. Like I just can't. Like this shit is too much. Yo, I, I ain't even gonna lie, man. Like even if it's too much, you acting like you making it look like it's nothing. Like you the baddest bitch doing it. Now you're gonna get See? five days straight. They go five days straight this week. Now, <laughs> now, 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 now. He just now. played, he just played, he just played the best hold Jordan. Up, hey, hold shout up, out to Jordan. Hold, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out. No, you better give this whole friend <laughs> some thanks. Shout out to shout out to Miss Greenaway on the on the credits. Who's not a whole friend? Say it. Yeah, my friend I mean, is not, not a whole friend. No, a whole okay. friend, like you know, now a whole me, friend, like me, not a whole me, friend. Yeah, like a whole, you like, met her like you a whole, like, like a complete the, friend, whole, like a, whole a whole complete friend. friend. Yeah, we were right. trying to say so let's, whole let's, friend. Let's, it was let's whole, move on. Like, like a whole, whole friend. friend. Yeah. Not the friend. Yeah, you're a complete friend. That's gonna help the relationship. She does. So what I. I ain't gonna lie, Jazz is not my yes man. Even that day we got in the car, I the told, argument in the I car, tell she you. told me straight up, she was like, you wasn't right for how you handled that. She's not that friend. I was okay. like, okay. Look, so now, oh, so now, so now, oh, so now. Oh, so what you don't know oh, is right. that behind the say, scenes, I be telling say, her, like, regardless Jasmine of how you felt, my yes, you don't talk to Jasmine's him like that in front of yes people. Man. I, honestly, I be telling Jay, I don't really have, <laughs> I don't now have he's like, any, uh, now he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, hey, tell the Jazz if she wanna come over for dinner. She wants steak or shrimp. Right. You, want, you gonna make our little lives. Somebody make Jazz another drink right now. Jazz, Jazz drink on most low. Somebody hey, make Jazz another hey, drink. Hey, 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 can somebody can somebody make Jazz a drink? Look, <laughs> with that ass too. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, all right. So so shout out to that. We we nah, as because men, you know what it is when you when you care about your friends and you know that they're in a situation that's good yeah. for them, you don't you don't you don't uh aid to their yeah. to their delusions right. by being like, yeah, 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 you're right. Fuck right. that nigga. You don't do that. You because don't. if you really care about your friend and you know that that situation is good for them, then that's you tell real. them the truth so that you don't lose, they don't lose that situation. So you about to fall over. Like, this is right. my right. 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 You good, you good. I'm thinking the same thing. Like, if that's your man or your woman, you don't uh, allude to their, you tell them what's real, but okay, whatever. Nah, some niggas um, be like, man, fuck that bitch. Right, real. No, but I never said, even in those times, Shadi was like, you always seen, on my I friend's seen, side. Seen, I'm like, no, I'm giving you the real. You just don't want to accept it. Nah, because right. sometimes, though, I do no, feel like, wait. nigga, do you take anyone's side but not mine? He does, though. But the thing is, like, if I tell him, like, boom, me and da da da, I'm good on her, whatever, he's like, well, what did you do, bitch? <laughs> what? <laughs> That bitch was dead ass wrong. You There's three sides. Like There's always three sides to a story. So here's the thing. When it comes to relationships, since this is a relationship podcast, nothing irks me more than when my nigga plays devil's advocate when I'm upset. Seriously. Like, like I don't nigga. care if I'm wrong or right. No, ride bro. right now. Right now, just, just be on my side. Ride, nigga. Hey, ride, hey, nigga. Hey, 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 ride. Hey, hey, nigga. Hey, hey, Get out the car. Get the fuck out the car. Because right now we're on a mission. Nah, nah, nah. Right. On, 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 this bitch is wrong. Honestly. honestly that ass wrong. Nah, that's real. Honestly, what that's I can real. say is we can come to a conclusion is we got to know when. I'm old school. Pick your battles. Kenny Rogers know when to hold and when to fold. When they upset, it's the worst time to ask right, what so they don't did. Don't be my Absolutely. dad and ask Absolutely. me, well, what cool. did All right, you so can, do? So can I, I used to hate when my mom used to come to the school when I used to have a fight and be like, well, what the fuck did you do wrong? Nothing. The bitch fucking hit me and I hit her ass back. Okay. Like you taught me my whole life. Right. So can, can what we, the fuck? Well, did you win? Hey, did hey. You, right. Hey. Did you, well, did hey, you hey, win? hey, 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 um, hey. Candid podcast. He was doing good in the beginning. We did a great job, y'all. Yeah. I mean, we, I mean. Everybody right, always I says, yeah, you guys, you know, it started off this way, but then it got really, Shut the really fuck deep. up. So, no, no. Nah, nah, so, you listen, we gonna, though. We about to get into some real All shit. All right, it's so, going to get real now. Honestly, honestly, right. honestly. All you might not right, agree with everybody. All right. Let's boom. continue to delegate. Right. All right. Okay. Right. Um, 
Monique, can you? Monique is on the screen and she got some bullshit up. Like, what is going on? All right, so I'll 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 introduce this topic. So this is what the first trending topic. Wait, 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 wait. Can somebody get Jazz drink? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. With well, ice too, please. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, um, some we support. Hey, shout out to we Bel Air. You. you said some bamboo. I'm about to, I'm about, yeah, bamboo. Yeah. I'm about to be on some Joe Button shit, but we ain't gonna do that. Hey, yeah. All right, so, <laughs> all right, to get into our first. Yo, y'all want some? Cause I'm tired of. It. Shout out to Rose. I want some shit. Cause I'm it. tired of this shit being fucking uh, uh prop. Prop, yeah, like y'all gonna send us some more or not? Like I see them, I'm sorry, like yo, I see them. Oh no, cause they sending it out. Yo, I see them posting niggas yeah. that don't even do shit for them. I seen them giving it to niggas who don't drink, but they that's, don't even post. But they don't even post Instagram posts. We post it and tag you all the fucking time. But y'all supposed to be. They supposed to sponsor you. Is you sponsor me or are you not? Nah? They giving us who owns honestly, Bel Air? Kalea is who owns post- Bel Air? Some white guy that's doing interviews right now. Yo, can somebody pop? Get us some. Somebody. So what does he do? He just has like people he doing do... interviews. Interviews. Shout out to interviews, interviews, interviews. Let me, let me, let me, Can I go pee again? I don't. I don't God, I issues with niggas. <laughs> all right, now nah, I'll just decide though. Let's get into this first trending topic now. Nah, right. This topic, I, it, I'm introducing it as a trending topic because this wasn't one of our you know main segments. But I don't think this is a trending topic. I think that this is an ongoing issue. So let's talk about this Jacob Blake shooting, um, and let's talk about this. I don't even know the name of this other guy. He was 17 years old. He right took an house. assault rifle to a, a Black Lives Matter protest, and they were calling him a vigilante, which is crazy to me. But um, let's start with the Jacob Blake. So uh, Kenosha officers, which is in Wisconsin, uh, were called to a domestic incident about 5, 11 p.m. on a Sunday. A woman called her boyfriend. A woman called saying that her boyfriend was present. It was not supposed to be on the premises. According to investigators from the Wisconsin Department of Justice Division of Criminal Investigation, on the police call, a dispatcher names Jacob Blake and he says that he isn't supposed to be there and that he took the complainant's keys and refused to leave. Dispatcher later explains that she doesn't have more details because the caller is being uncooperative. When the officers finally arrive to the scene, they attempt to arrest Jacob Blake and they use a taser to try to stop him, according to the DCI. They say Blake then walked around his vehicle and opened the driver's side door and leaned forward. Police said that about five minutes after the initial report, dispatcher received reports of shots fired. Um, At this point, an officer grabs Blake's shirt and he fires his service weapon, a.k.a. his gun, seven times into, and I heard that they're saying that it might have been eight shots now, into the 29-year-old man's back. No other officer fires their weapon except for this one officer. Um, officers then get aid for Blake to the hospital in Milwaukee and literally cuff him to the hospital bed. The man is now paralyzed. Also, they shot him in front of his children. Um, they cuff him to the hospital bed. They're, they were at the time charging him as a felon. All those charges have been dropped, of course, mm-hmm. because of, of course, of course, because of the media and it's us. Coincidence. It, right. So. Um, we want to talk about just the fact that, you know, police brutality is still happening. It's been so much since the pandemic has even began um, with the other incidences that the police have killed people on camera that were unarmed. And I heard that Jacob Blake was also unarmed. Um, and, you know, we see them give this respect to white people no matter the age, no matter what they've done, they could blow up a movie theater and still get escorted out. They, matter of fact, uh, Dylan Roof shot Donald's. up a school and they gave him Burger King and they Burger escorted Burger him King. politely into into the... I mean, he killed children, you know, and, and they don't shoot him on sight. So I guess what I'm... We don't, we don't, we don't even need to talk about... Uh, it's not an argument of whether or not they're literally executing us for no reason. At this point, it's just become, what do we do now? How do we respond? Because we need to respond. This has been happening since the beginning of time. It doesn't seem like it's changing. At this point, all we want to know is, what do we do as black people to combat this police brutality? Hey, um, first and foremost, you want some champagne? Hey, can we get another cup? See, how I'm getting treated now that he knows that I that I'm that I'm. No, no, no. That's your whole friend. Can we get a cup? You're a whole friend. Hey, um, 
Shout out to Bel Air. I know we talk jokes, but shout out to Bel Air. They still giving us. Um, Double cups, they still giving us product when a lot of people aren't getting products. So shout out to Bel Air. Thank shout you. Back. Um, as far as this, uh, whoa, uh, let's get serious. Um, I start. I feel like I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, right? In the regards of you have an unarmed man um, walking to a car with his children in the car. And no matter what the, the situation and how it played out, I can't justify shooting someone seven times. You know what I mean? Because when you shoot someone seven times, you're in intent. the back. In the back, walking away from you. In front you. of his children. I mean, children. granted, he was walking into his car. And I don't trying care to where he was walking. He could have been walking off into valid, the sunset. Exactly. You shoot, first of all, you, you no guys do know that they're, you're not, as an officer, you're trained that you don't shoot somebody in the back because at that point, they're not a threat. They are, they're walking away. So regardless, you don't shoot somebody in the back. Even if they would have apprehended him before he got into his vehicle, that's different. But you don't shoot somebody in the back. That's not police protocol. Exactly. And I feel like it just speaks to the times. Um, yeah. And we have to revisit this conversation. I know that some people are like, why do we keep talking? We're beating a dead horse, just that and a third. But uh, again, I said it time and time again. All it takes for evil to progress in this world is an absence of good. Yeah. So people are going to keep doing, it's going to keep happening. Yeah. And it had been happening prior to this. And, and thank God for social media because now we're seeing it yeah. like on a grander scale. Yeah. But something must but be done. But nothing's changing. Yo, so Yo, I, Jay and I watched Black and Blue yesterday. I saw that. Right. And it, and I was just looking into some of the perspectives they were trying to speak on in the movie and just basically how even the good cops are bullied so far into what these quote unquote bad cops are doing. The culture that it's so normalized how far high up it goes before there's even a stop. Like what I really what I mean, about the still, justice system? Because up. do you know I, I so what what really really disturbs me is that the justice system has no issue with charging black criminals yeah. with sentences for crimes that they didn't even do right but when this happens on camera the it's man is like, not arrested immediately right. he's not being charged right. immediately how right. does that work right so and i think it's even beyond the police right. department it's the, right. it's america but that's why i said but higher you're making, up i was gonna like say it you're, goes so high the prosecutors the, the judges so state's up, attorney all of like, that at this point we know that it's crooked yeah. And it was built and designed this to way. To be crooked. Hey. So it's intentional. It's, it's intentional. Oh, it's in intentional. And my thing is, n anybody at the top doesn't care. Nobody at the top Because nobody at care. the top is black like, or brown. Nobody at the top is black hey. or brown. What I was like, saying, no. hey, hey, Monique, can you scroll down a little bit real quick? That's where I start. Cool. Um, <clears throat> all right. Uh, the NBA thing can tie into this, too. Um, just for sake of time. What I would say is... uh. You know, the NBA, well, the NBA initiated the boycott. The yeah, bucks. before we get there, before we get there, I'm yeah. just saying, like, for sake of time, we're going to tie this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> yo, you know, I'm tired of having a conversation, and it's not even the conversation, right? It's like, just being honest, you know, my, my line brother said something in response to uh, um, LeBron James' um, response, and a lot of people kind of felt the same. And they were saying, like, sometimes, like, you got to, like, not say anything if you don't say the right thing. And they were saying it because he said that we were scared, right? And a lot of people were like, we're not scared, et cetera, et cetera. We're fed up, right? And I understand that. But you can't dismiss the fact that we are scared. No, too. I'm scared. And that's, and that's I'm, one of, I'm, and, and, I'm a complete, and, and, listen, if I wasn't scared, every time the police, I see the police or the police get behind me, I get afraid. So I'm still scared because at the end of the day, we don't have the weaponry and we don't have the camaraderie to fight back right now. But it's, 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 it's more than that, right? It's, it's fed up and, and scared because it's like, as a man, the only thing you got in this world is, is your name and your character, right? Um, You know, I don't ever want to be in a position, and I'll say this time and time, it's something I really pray about. Like, I'm not trying to be in a position where I got to prove myself to my family because a lot of these situations, something could be done to help save people, right? But we we're, we're not. A lot of people aren't ready to to make those to, to, sacrifices. To make those sacrifices, right? And I'm just thinking, like, yo, if my family is in this situation, I have to prove my love to my family. So in that situation, I'm either going to be dead, 
I'm gonna go to jail for a long time. And you know, like it's sad because like we've been seeing this literally since 1955. Like literally. Even and it's to that. the point where it's though. Nah, this has been going on yeah, before yeah, then. Before that, yeah. Right, and I say 1955 because that's when Emmett Till, and even though it wasn't a black, it wasn't an officer, it's just the fact that you can hear something old because you're subjective, right? You're subjective to think what you think you can do something to harm us, right? And it's like, yo, I don't fuck with the fact that, you know, like, this is happening and we can't do anything. And, like, it's, it hurts because officers mistreat men, officers mistreat women, officers mistreat anybody that doesn't look like them because of whatever they want, right? Mm -hmm. If we ever in our position do anything to either us wh whatever if we do anything we have to then we arrest it right or wrong we have to be proven innocent cops get in these situations they don't give drug tests but you know what's crazy like, according to the justice system it's supposed to be guilty until, until proven innocent but i've never seen it for a black person it's always guilty no and not I for mean, a cop it's always innocent. And no, and it's always for a cop. It's, uh, I'm saying I've never, right, for a cop, it's always innocent, innocent until, until proven, until guilty. proven guilty. guilty. And I don't understand. Guilty. how. First of all, how, how, okay, if I'll give an example. If we all work together, right, and somebody else comes in that doesn't work with us and an incident occurs and I'm wrong, right, but y'all, you know, y'all didn't see it. At some point, isn't that like favoritism? Like how how can how can if the police in the in the court systems are working together, why would they reprimand their own person? It makes them look bad as well. So why would why do why would they even combine the police department? Like yeah. why would the state's attorney work with the police? Right. I don't right. understand. It yeah. should all be all the legal shit should be separate. Yeah. Because at that point, yep. Yep. I mean, it's like yeah. it's sweet for me yeah. because I'm I'm so, going into a situation. Let alone money. And you're my friend for real. Of, I would you're say, my friend for yeah. real. So how much are you really going to discipline? Right. Me? I wouldn't right. say that they are friends per se. Oh no, they're friends. Hold no. up, stop. No, let me, no, let me tell you friends. why. No, let me tell no, you why. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you even places. say that, nah. Before you even say that, no, I'm talking example. about these people eat lunch together. These people play golf together. These people's kids go to school together. These people are alumni together. Let me tell you why. And I would say certain situations because in Baltimore. We had a situation of the gun trace task force where these are rogue cops. Like they robbing drug dealers, selling the drugs that they robbed them from back to the dealers because you can't do anything about it. And the state prosecutor went at them. You know, they, they had to prosecute them. So I can't necessarily say. Hold that up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold and they're up. in jail right but now. But that's corruption within their own job. But if there's an outside person, look, I, I fought the justice system. No, nah, fact, same. Two years ago. I'll tell you right now. The lawyer told me that I'm going to appeal this case in a couple of years because me and this judge just joined the same golf club, so I'm getting closer with him. So just give it a little bit of time, and if he comes back within a couple of years, I'll probably be able to get him off. But here's my issue. Yeah, so now I believe that. Too. So where's the justice? Because it's a game for you. If you can get him off, then do you really believe that he's guilty? And number so, two, if you really do believe he's, if the judge really does believe he's guilty, why would he let him off just because he's your my friend? Point, what I'm going to say is, you know, like, I'm going to just go back to this, you know. Uh, man, again, man, started had this conversation. Yo, we're in their world, point blank period. When we get pulled over, I don't know if we haven't had, the, I, I haven't seen the, the clip before, what happened transpired before, you know what I'm saying? But it looked like he was with his daughter or whatever. Yo, do what you have to do to stay alive. Point Anybody blank. seen that? I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut you off. Right? Anybody seen that clip when he, the guy was just complying and they still yeah. did what they did? Right. Remember saying that? A lot of times. A lot of times. All the time. Like, Most so of like, the yes, time. Do it, but understand that it still we might have a go bigger to problem right. because yes. it doesn't even matter if you comply. The problem is the force, the power, the aggression. And that's what Didn't I was going to say. I was going to add to that. Didn't they shoot Breonna Taylor in her sleep? Didn't they shoot about the culture. Like not complying? I was yeah. going to say the culture, though, right? Like, because we, the, the kid, 17-year-old kid, right, that went to the protest and shot two innocent people. And walked away from it. The headlines, and that's why I have an issue. He was we a vigilante. Media, it's not even just a vigilante, but the narrative was, oh, he was an aspiring police officer. So the fact that that mindset is already being instilled within children so that they move forward and it's like, I have the power 
I can go through, and they said that he walked by the police officers, and they just Yo. with an assault rifle. Whereas a yeah. black man, I wouldn't even be able to walk out the house a, with an assault <laughs> rifle. Boy, I would be dead at the house. But I hate to say it, but we keep making it about police versus black people, but it's just white people versus black people. That's so what all. I will say is, hold up. What I will say is, yo, you know, like as much as I'm frustrated, we gotta, you know, I feel like we need to be in these positions. And this, is, this isn't a conversation that we haven't heard had before. We, as much as we don't want to, no, like nobody, no black kid that I know is, have the dream of being a police officer anymore. You know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta wanna be lawyers. We got to want to be police officers. And of course, it's easy for me to say being on the microphone. Yeah, right? but what I'm, about the cop that said that it was wrong for what they did to George Floyd? He got fired the next day. No, but that's, not, that's what I'm saying. So it's like we got to. That's why I brought up black and blue. We got to create this this new narrative, this new narrative. And it's, it's crazy because like this shouldn't be a fucking conversation. Like I'm tired of having the conversation. I'm tired of marching. I'm tired of the looting. I'm tired Prime, of so all of it. Like, nothing. It's, it's to the point where it's like, yo, honestly, I'm going to keep it 100. I almost feel like. Not even almost. I feel like, yo, we could just be, just be segregated again. Thank like, I'm you. Tired I say of it, it like, every time. It's like, yo, I like, say it all the time. Why are we still asking for something that they don't want to give us? Let's just come together and do our own thing. But, what? It, we have to come together. Yeah. Like, we have to come together. So, wait, but the wait. only reason we can't come together is because, because they have divided and us. That's divided what I was say. That's what I was going to say. Up black and blue is because what I noticed is even the black people in power. They, it's upstairs. And I was about to say that. Even the black people in power, they're scared. It's an elite thing. It's an elite thing. And even them, they can only go but so far. And I think that's the problem. But that's why I say we need our own, like, I hate to say it, but Jewish people, they started at the bottom like us. And what did they do? They made their own community. And then we don't need you to be the head of us because we'll be the head of ourselves. You know, we feel safe. You know what I think happens? Jewish people. Somehow, I don't know. They have money. Be- no, they I'm gonna tell you why. Because you, know, but no, no, no. I'm gonna tell you why Jewish people have money. Jewish people have money because they built their own community system. But you know why? They it's said hard? we keep the money in here. here. I don't yeah. give a fuck how much we start with. We keep the money in here. Yeah. Eventually, they will need to buy from us. Right. Now, guess what? We have. Right. All you know why it's hard though? Dollars. And this is what I mean when I wanted to tie it in with the NBA, right? You know what's hard? Because even on even on our uh, our um notes, <clears throat> shout out to our producer Alex, right? It says Milwaukee Bucks lead pro sports protest by refusing to play game five in their series against Orlando. It's hard for black people because of this reason right here. And for y'all don't understand, one of one of the two, when it comes to sports, is two big sports that's always together. That's NBA and MLB. Milwaukee Bucks did a great thing. However, they didn't come with they didn't come to everybody first. And that was the problem. Like they because they didn't come to everybody first and say, "Yo, this is what we think we should do." That's why LeBron James, Kawhi Leonard, that's why they were upset, right? Because even though the Milwaukee Bucks did a great thing, they did a great thing, right? However, they didn't come together, and as black people, we don't come together to really put our foot down. Yeah, that's I and the problem is, it's like we have so many opinions. But Hold up! But did the Milwaukee Bucks put their foot down, or did they did they tap the bitch? Because the issue I also have is the protest lasted for two days. Okay, cool. You're right back at it. You're right back putting the money in these people's because, pockets. Nothing will change. No, because they wasn't together. They wasn't a unified front. Now, but because, at this point, once they made the stance, they you said they had a vote of should they continue or not. At that point, everybody's communicating. How dare you continue with these? First of all, it's it's deeper than did we all talk to each other. At the end of the day, these players, I don't even care if it's LeBron James, these players do not own anything within that National Basketball Association, right. okay? Now, I'm not saying they don't own things outside of it. They own nothing when it comes to that NBA. So the fact that you would still go play for the white man at this time and you would still put money into his pockets, then are you really taking a stance or did you just kind of so, tap you, you tapped in and then you reneged because you weren't willing to sacrifice whatever it is that you had? It's not that sort of thing. Is, is having a unified front. And this is what I mean by Af- the African-American culture, like compared to so, so many other cultures. Like we talk about the Jewish culture, right? Everybody has a unified front except for us. Like they did a great thing, right? But because the NBA has an uh, a NBA association, they have a, a board that talks about these things, right? The Players Association. A yeah. Players Association, yeah. right? When you go and you say, yo, I'm going a, I'm to a boycott these games without talking to everybody else, then we look sloppy because everybody might not be on the same accord. 
no matter what the reasons are you can we can name so many reasons but because everybody isn't on the same accord we're going to come back to one one front at the end of the day right so what happens is like we we salute um lebron james we salute the clippers the entire um franchise we salute uh the bucks however when you don't come together first this is what happened. It's not a change of heart. It's just they they didn't. They got voted. They, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't they didn't do it right. And I as think, African Americans, I wouldn't say like they didn't do it right. We're not per, doing it right. So but the only thing ahead, I feel right. like is with Milwaukee, that's in the same with Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's home. Right. But then more importantly, for the Bucks, it was more a, personal. Personal, yeah. yes. Because Sterling it's Brown yeah. had a situation where yep. he was racially profiled. Yep. They slammed him on the ground. Yep. He was crying. Because he John parked Hansen. in a fucking. Exactly. So they had situations Handicap where it's like, spot. this is personal for us. Like, we see this, and this is, this, Hold this up. is more it's than personal. just a business. It's personal for all black for people. For all of us. It's no, but like in that situation, why you saw they were the yeah, first team to do it was because of that. So one of the players was racially profiled. So because it hit home for them, yeah, so they, they stepped out right. and did that. But the thing about saying, it is we not unify. Are you saying had they did something on the back end where they talked to everybody? everybody. Team, yes. Every it would have been so much more every impactful. Every black player no, on the team. Every but, black player on this team, we need to all say Come no. together, yes. Not, not just all yeah, so period. what happens is like, if, all of them. If, you go, if you go out and say no. But hold up, I'm going to exactly. just say this because I agree. Until there's unity, we will not move forward. That's, That's it. Yeah. All other all other cultures and whatever you have in ethnicities stick together. That's even it right there. even when yeah. you see Mexicans cross yeah, the border illegally, the it'll be about ten of them, but they all live in one little but townhouse almost, until right. they own their right. landscape and yep. company, and then they're putting it back into their yeah. community. That's it, right there. We don't put it back into our community. Yeah. However, not we a hundred percent because some hold people up, do. Hold up, but here's the problem though. Right. And this is where I'm going to give us some leeway because, yeah, we we don't. But you also have to remember these other ethnicities were not specifically divided the way no, we yeah, were. That's mm -hmm. a fact. This is a plan for them. Yeah. So it's not even just about unity together, as much as it together. is. We we need a plan. Yeah. We don't have an active plan. We right. react yeah. by, with situations like this. Yeah. But. Once the reaction's over, so can yeah. I ask it's over with. But what yeah. are we doing when we're not being shot in the back? Yeah. Can I ask y'all something? Bro. Curious, right? Honestly, what can we do? We have to make a plan. So I was talking to my father, and, you know, he said, like, something that really stuck with me. He said, you know, there's always, there's never equality in the world since the beginning of times. There's always a ruler. And whoever's time it is to rule, that's who's ruling. And there's a formula to it. Since the Egyptians, divide and all of that, divide and conquer. So the problem, I think, is that we're continuously asking for equality in a world where equality does not exist. Never. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to rule. Yeah. But the only way to rule would be to make a plan. Yeah. And it's, it might not be the nicest right. plan. However, it's what's necessary. Right. Have you ever seen a boss who didn't have to cut some people and do that's some foul shit that's to get to the top everybody but but that's it's like fact. we don't have that in us right. and it, we need to either get yeah. it or we need yeah. to fake it and because goes, listen we they will rule as long as they have the mental power of us yeah. to where we think that we're lesser yeah, and we're asking a, please please look at us as an equal why nobody has ever since the beginning of time looked at anyone what as you, an equal we need that's a great point jazz what we need to do is right all the black players in the NBA, fuck NBA. We need to be a, a Let's B start our own NBA. A yeah. black, yeah. black yeah. basketball like, association. So what happens, I mean, it's happening though. Once We're we, the talent. Once we, once we really separate, they will then understand the importance of us. And when I mean us, exactly. black people, right? Yeah. I mean, it, it goes back to Joe Button podcast when I was saying like, yo, you can... You can't have two lines. If you want to be independent, be independent, right? Yep. So it's like you can't you can't say these things right. and to be like, well, support me. But right. you know what? Right. We're but, one foot in, one foot out because we are mentally we scared, scared, honestly. Not even, but we're scared it's, it's because scared. some of it. Is, I'm gonna say fear, but I'm also gonna say some of it is also reality. Like, yeah, really. it's hard to walk away from something where you know for a fact that. You, Something is feeding your family. Exactly. Exactly. And exactly. And and not just basketball. I'm talking right. about the grocery store. Everywhere. Yeah. I'm talking everywhere. about Walmart. I'm talking about everywhere. everywhere. It's everywhere. gonna be hard. But yeah. if we can get at least the one percent of the black community to come together the way they uh -huh. did and they started running the country, right. if we can get us to come together, right. it might not start off as, mm -hmm. you know, all beautiful, but at some point we will keep making the money until start it, it'll work we got to get resources. like honestly itself. we got to go back to the blueprint we need resources yep we need weapons yep 
we need a leader. Yep. We need uh, our own communities, yep. that, but not communities where they own it, but we live in it. I'm talking about we need to build our mm-hmm. own communities. And I was about to allude to that, right? Um, when you take away sustainability from a community, it becomes an underground economy, right? And what you start to see is it self-destruct. And you see this in a lot of impoverished communities. Like there's no, there's food deserts. Like let's take Baltimore City as an example. There's food deserts. There's all of this stuff because you don't have a sustainable middle class in certain areas. So you see that culture start to emerge as a result. But on a segue, like a tangent, like since we're talking about sports, I just wanted to give flowers to Colin Kaepernick, right? Yeah. Because back in 2016, in yeah. 2016, when it wasn't like right now, I don't want to say that this is the trend or but it is. you know what nah, I mean. No, it is. But he it took is. a say stand when, when nobody, nobody was. was. He lost it all. He lost it everything. Right. He lost bro. it all. Absolutely yeah. respect that. So man. I feel yeah. like right now is more of a time to really recognize that, like yeah. the foresight and uh, like to, to acknowledge yeah. the foresight that he had back then, because yeah. this is 2016, mind you. Right. So but, 2016 hold up. is still happening. But Colin Kaepernick is also the perfect example, and not to cut you off, but. He still went and tried out for NFL teams. It's just that he was blackballed. Mm. So it shows you still that as much as you take a stance, as much as you disagree with what they're doing, how much doing, you still need them? You, you need them. them, and and they've created it that way. Yeah. And I'm not saying that it's right, but that's where we but they're are. Always gonna right. feel but I'm, I'm when we show that gonna, we need them. They're always gonna feel. But we're talking about because passion. realistically, that he likes doing. we need them right. because of the way that they've divided and conquered. We have to come up with a. We but have they to made st- us, infiltrate. They made we have to. We have to take their formula. And use, use it against them. Ourselves. We have to hey. we have to discontinue so we, asking for equality okay. because being equal does not exist in so, a world where it's survival of the fittest. So okay, so like what I do know That's is a when fucking it, fact. I'm sorry, when it, it's okay. What I what, what I do know is that you know obviously there's different groups around. Like there's certain groups who are trying, right? Mm-hmm. There's people who are trying to do this. Do we need one popular leader? To make it happen, or I don't think we, we gotta so be unified. Why, well, we need the okay, wealthy so, okay. black people to come okay, together. There we go. And so we don't just need Americans. Is, we need allies. We need that, Africans. I'm, we need right. So what is it about the wealthy black people who? Why haven't they done it yet? Because, because they own the created, coattail of the fucking because, white people. But that's period. my point. But also, point. hold on. So also, where does it really start? Because also, also, where does it really start? They, they've created us to believe that we can't share because it's only. It's only enough. Like, I, yeah. I, I gave you guys an example yesterday when we talked about this. I said, what they'll do is this. They'll, and then they wonder why we kill each other because they'll sit here and there'll be 12 black people and they'll give them four crumbs uh-huh. and say, this yep. is what you guys of get. Of course we won't kill At each this other. point, like, and it's survival of the fittest, not just for black and white, but just human nature. nature. So, right. of course, now I'm like, I need I gotta this. Get I'm it. hungry. Right. I'm hungry. I got to get it from you. Right. Even if I love you, you're my sister. You look right. like me. I got to take this from you because yeah. I got to eat. If I don't eat, yeah. I'm going to die. Right. At that point, my survival instincts kick in. Yeah. It, there's nothing to do with, yeah. do I care about you? But what white people will do is there will be two people and they'll give them 20 full, full sandwiches abundance. and right. be like, eat. eat. Right. So, right. um, yo, but what would... So That's so why black people are scared to help each other because they feel like, I'm going to lose it's mine. It's taken away from me. But yeah, I, exactly. Right, but I get it entirely. But my like where I'm lost at and like I'm just like I'm just be transparent. It's just like it does feel hopeless just because where's the actual start? Because, yes, we know. Yes, we need a community. Yes, we need a ruler. Yes, we need to do these things to enhance our black community so that we can rise up. Where does it start? So, for example, if we do if the Gemini Scorpio podcast does it right now. Yes, we'll get probably the demographic of the DMV. Fine. Right. But how does that reach Mississippi? How does that reach Texas? How does that reach Wisconsin? How does this reach its people for all? You know what happens? It takes the same umbrella. You know what we got to do? I'm going to be real with you. It's going to take thousands of years. You you know what we got to do? Real, because this has taken if you've ever read years. if you've ever read the Willie yeah. Lynch letter it was yeah. it was based on slavery mm-hmm. and you know he said he had a formula you guys anybody watching this yeah. look yeah. it up yeah. and read it go ahead tell him nah this nah, is nah. i learned this at a hbcu nah seriously the Willie Lynch letter <laughs> let me t- nah cuz see the crazy thing is that su- type of stuff right there too it's funny within our community, but like right. I'm light skinned to you, but I'm, I'm a straight up like, nigga. Right, yeah. Yeah. Nah, period. That's a fact. That's period. period. That's a fact. It doesn't I'm, matter. They look, they look at me and like a nigga, and, uh, like a straight up, like nigger. a nigger, period. like a nigger. Period. And and honestly, they almost they are like a nigger, and they almost feel like 
ill. You're one of those niggers that somebody down the line raped your mammy. That's a fact. Yeah. No. And made right. you. And now I really that's don't like you because that was my bro, man. That was that's actually, how they bro, look at bro. me. Bro. They look at me fact. like, that's ew, bro. you're a disgusting nigger. Like, you're like a mutant. Right. Yeah. But what I was saying is that the Willie Lynch letter, it was a blueprint of how to keep us enslaved, not just physically, but mentally. And they said that if it, if, 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 if this letter is followed, we will stay oppressed. It, we will stay this way for, for thousands, thousands of years, years. maybe thousands. even more. That's a fact. And, 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 and it was right. Yo, it was right. Um, but yo. if I honestly, also, let's all get together and let's look at what they've done. Let's read the shit that and they. Let's, yeah. let's and then we we, we can't yeah. infiltrate something that we yeah. do not know. That we yeah. don't understand. Yeah. That's hey, why they kept yourself. us from being able yeah. to yeah. read That's for so long fun. because yeah. they knew that if we could read it, they knew if we could read it, then we might be able to fight it back. Hey, you got a motherfucking point today, shorty. Nah, for real. This is what they do. Hey, listen, this is what we want to do. Um, we're gonna continue to pray for our kind. You know, episode thirty-eight. Um, I'm gonna try to do something different today. Y'all gotta agree or not agree, and okay. um, but I'm gonna say it later. We just gotta hold it down for our people. Yeah. Period. Bro. And when we say hold it down for our people, we mean stop looking to other fucking people exactly. to yeah. accept us. Yeah. We don't need acceptance. We don't. Let's do we this on here. our own. Yep. Yo, we gonna do it by ourselves. Jim and I scope your podcast episode thirty eight. Yo, this the gang. You already know. We love you. Yep. You mean it, us. Period. Right. We don't give a fuck. It is for the culture. Yeah. Yo. Peace. Jim Not Scorpio Podcast, episode 38. We fuck with you. Make sure you tap in. You um, know. That's Donate all I got. To Donate to the cause. We it. That's we it. Out. Gang, gang. Right. That's a wrap.